Alright, we are in. We're definitely in. Come on. Uh, there we go. Oh, just about got the volume muted there. Right, let me make sure my internet is switched off so I can definitely so there's no interference with my internet connection, which as we know is famously bad. <clears throat> Hello everybody. Right, I think I've tweeted tweeted. If I'd used, as if I use that site anymore. I think I've sent out the links on both the social media sites that matter. Because Twitter is dead to me now. Where's my... There we go. Alright. Let's do it. So what did we do last time? We... Disrupted a dog... Thing. We, uh, we, disrupt, we disrupted a dog... Uh, like a teacup canid show. Where we snuck in the back and stole the trophy. While they're still deliberating on who the winner should be, we gave the trophy to someone else who gave us another lead in our quest to find out what the hell is going on on Gorgon. <clears throat> so we have the key to the door that we need so we can explore the next section. We also have this one to do. Yeah, we've got both keys that we need. We went, we went off-world to like a bunch of places. Um, and I feel like we should be doing this too. But we can't do that until we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm just think talking out, thinking out loud to myself. Uh, we also have the best gun in the world. I call her Vera. I mean, okay. So that's a. I mean, it's, it doesn't have a fucking patch on uh, this this gun, but it has like a an effect that puts people to sleep. I think. I don't know why I have this. Let's get rid of that. I don't need you. And I want these fedoras and stuff for personal reasons. Yeah, this gun is just fucking amazing. I love it so much. Like I was so excited. To stream today mainly as an opportunity to play with the gun. Oh, hello, Felix. What are you doing down here? Good to see you, boss. Yeah, let's talk sure, about the business on Gorgon. What's uh, what? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we're trying to get F Felix laid, so he's always going to be in our party. So he we get so we can get his dialogue options because he fancies the main quest giver. Uh, she got the Gorgon landing pad. <clears throat> yes, there was a thing that they were doing horrible science on there. They invented a drug, Adrena Time, which basically turned everyone into Marauders, very Firefly esque. Um, marauders are basically they're just Reavers from Firefly, essentially. But um, they were, but they're less terrifying than the Reavers are. And Lord, am I so glad to see the end, of the back of those fucking slugs, honestly. Still haunted by that fucking loading screen, the fact that we didn't notice it for so long. <clears throat> and you'll have to excuse my voice being a bit scratchy, I've been, um... Not sick this time, just talking a lot. Oh, well, I've been, I work essentially... In what is essentially a call center, let's be honest. Um, so I've been on the phone with people all week, and uh, my voice is gone. And I was playing D and D all day today, and just kind of yelling fucking stuff at people because we had a lot to yell about. Um, hey, hey, it's Kel on Earth. How's it going? Um, and everyone should subscribe to it's Kel on Earth as well. She's great. I've been mean to watch. Uh, more of your stream. I want to watch the street, the spore stream, mainly because I want to see that Windows 98 monster that you made. That looks 100% everything I want to be a part of. Right, let's. We are going. Should we go to the chem lab first? Now that we have the key, why not? Come on. Fast travel. Likewise, yeah. I mean, it's mainly because like when you stream, it's like um, it's always days where I'm not actually at home, so I can't actually watch it, which is annoying. But I've, and I'm subscribed to a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna watch them all, catch myself up. 
I just want to see that. I want to see that Windows 98 monster so badly. Much like re the real Windows 98, I don't think he's long for this world. I think he's like. Ooh, this is so exciting! I've never seen a voice lock in action before. Uh, Doc Lowe seems like the kind of guy who needs to get the last word in. Yeah, the guy's name was uh, what was his name? <clears throat> um, Clarence Mostly was the guy who gave us the key, and we had so much fun with his name. See it? Do I want to fight that? Because. I don't actually that badly. Let's go in and cause we have to go out of our way to fight it. Fuck that. Let's um This facility is currently experiencing a heightened security event. Accessing this facility requires voice modulated passphrase. Please speak the passphrase. How much you wanna bet the Clarence set us up? Play Dr. Lowe's audio kind of thing. It's not the best choice, it's Space's choice. I mean for the fun of it. Error. Passphrase not recognized. God, I hate how catchy that tune Please is. Speak the passphrase. Play it up below his audio recording. We attest to the zest with our hand on our chest. Be impressed as our guest by what we finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Why wasn't that the jingle? That was way better than accepted. it's not the best choice. Welcome, Dr. Jasper Lowe. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's explore this place, see what horrors we find in here. Yeah, D&D &D ran on so long today. Like, I mean, I loved every minute of it. It's one, probably my favorite session we've had in the whole campaign. I mean, this campaign's been running for like two years, well, we started this campaign just after lockdown ended, so about two years, maybe a bit, two and a half years, like it's gone a long time. Um, this was as close as we came to a total party wipe. We, um, there's intrigue between the party members now, like, it's like, uh, one of us has kind of not turned evil, because she's playing her character so fucking well, it's amazing. Her character's like a, a, a warlock that is, um, an academic. And is also kind of like self deluded and like convinces himself that he's in the right all the time. So he so he's like convinced himself that siding with the lich that we've been trying to hunt this entire time is a good thing. And he's convinced himself that it's good because he wants to become a lich. We don't know this as characters. I, I rolled high enough on some stuff to suspect it, but not to know it. And it's just it's so fun. I love it. It's gonna be a fucking great uh campaign. So awful as a dream of time came from a place that looks so normal. Normal? What the fuck normal have you been? from the bodies, I mean. Oh, okay. And the blood. Oh, so much blood. Do enjoy the horrors, TM. It, it was horrific. Like, we. It was. Um, two demon things that. Like, uh, Baylors, I think they are. Um that explode when you kill them. So we're all basically running around the map trying not to touch them, <clears throat> but also trying to do enough damage to so basically keep away with these demons while our warlock made fools out of us. All right, here we go. Edgy notification. Please be informed that one or more of the following high pri priority conditions are likely to be active in your office or workplace. Number one. Escape criminals. Number two, unlawful discussion of subversive cultural material. Three, extended and unauthorized breaks. Those three are the same things. Please notify your supervisor immediately if you are the designated supervisor of this workplace. This message constitutes your official notification. This is an automated response. Please do not respond to this message. Okay. I'm trying to get more excited about the reading parts, but... They do grind me down so much. It's like such a pause to the narrative. I mean, if I was reading them myself, it's like you just read through them. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Hmm, it's a lot to think about. Whereas if I'm doing it on a stream, I'm very conscious that it's dead air, basically. But uh, Jasper, I've been talking. I've been taking your messages at my terminal like you asked. This one's from management, though. Please take a look at this. I could get in trouble for deleting it. From Goodfellow L to Low J. Subject, corrective me measures. 
Dr. Lowe, I speak for everyone at the OCI and express my disappointment in your work ethic. The quality of compound X harvested and enriched at your lab laboratory falls well below Space's choice standards. It is my professional opinion that the quality of one's work reflects the quality of one's spirit. Lazy workers deliver lazy work. Round up your researchers, fire one in ten. Oh, doing an old-style Roman decimation. Fitting for the Ides of March. Uh, I expect you and your remaining researchers to deliver the next batch of chemicals to HIA under under an accelerated timetable. These measures may seem punitive, even harsh. They are. I am instilling discipli discipline in your team. One day, I'd like to imagine you'll thank me. Respectfully, Lawrence Goodfellow. Work fortifies the spirit. Well, Lawrence Goodfellow doesn't sound like a very good fellow to me. Uh, my D&D &D character is... Uh, I'm a half-elf rogue... A swashbuckler rogue with one level of fighter so far. Um, so I'm kind of slightly tankier than a regular rogue, but still very squishy. And I'd survive by hiding most of the time, which is how I noticed that the warlock was up to stuff because I was I was bravely hiding in the back when I noticed that the warlock had vanished. It's such a good campaign. I love it so much. Um, from Huang Si to Lo J. I know you told me not to bother you when you're working, but I'm worried about running out of options. I understand you're busy, so I've boiled down my list of concerns into simple yes-no questions. Just respond with yes or no. One, did you read Goodfellow's letter? Two, am I on the chopping block? Three, has security talked to you about some kind of corporate spy in our ranks? Three A, is there a spy? Four, did you know Padilla's heart gave out after, after a 72-hour shift? Four A, are you attending the wake? I've got staff coming to the reception desk looking for answers. What am I supposed to tell them? It's not the best choice. It's the only choice we've got. They worked in the fucking advertising jingle. Are you going to respond? Oh, man, I feel I feel that. Like, I feel that whole, like, are you going to respond? Like, I don't respond to texts ever. I'm really bad at it. Um, from Huang C to Tanaka S. Subject, lost key. Chief, I found a key in the locker by the lavatories. The key belongs to Dr. Lowe. Please retrieve the key and return it to him. I do it myself, but Dr. Lowe can be pretty paranoid. If I show up at his door with a key in hand, he'll assume I stole it in order to fabricate a reason to check up on him. So they would... Who would have Who would have thought a workplace in the outer worlds having, you know, labour issues? Who could have foreseen such a... Th outcome oh yeah we've got a mysterious voice I hear something I got the strangest notion that was sarcasm about wishing us good luck I mean I'm pretty sure the threat was real Unless we're getting stalked by two different shadowy figures with the same creepy voice, I'm pretty sure this is the same jackass from back in the OCI. Yep. We can take him, probably. I have this cool gun now. Although, if it's auto-mechanical, I'm probably going to have to use the laser, like the electric gun, rather than the cool one that I have now. I mean, the electric gun is also cool, I guess. Okay, do not like how it's giving me all this ammo. <laughs> I should do a save here because I don't trust that we're not going to die. <clears throat> I love a sneaky character. Yeah, it's it's when I love playing rogues for that reason, like just the like the sneakiness and um, the fact that you can do, like you kind of the skill monkey you know um all kinds of cool how to do all kinds of cool stuff <clears throat> but i get splattered in combat a lot <laughs> like, <laughs> Ooh. so someone has killed all these marauders oh we got an auto mechanical should i do a should we for science see oh god he spotted me okay okay so that did how much did that do 200 252. Let's try this one. Where'd you go? Oh, this is better. This is better. Yeah. <laughs> Auto mechanicals hate electricity. I'm coming. I'm coming. Shit. There's more. Nope. Ah. 
Die! Oh, that's the last of them. That, that we did not cover ourselves in glory in that one. I mean, we survived, so we can tell people we did later on. <clears throat> so I love my little acid throwing gun, but against robots, like, electricity is just the best choice. <clears throat> Oh, speaking of which, we should check, um, see where this is, because we've got this. Oh shit, it was right there, we walked right past it. Good thing we checked that. <clears throat> Not sure when I bet this door is going to be locked or sealed or something. Oh, okay, oh, it's open. Shh. Ah, shit, didn't even see that there. <laughs> Oh my god. Shit, the bed! It's doing all kinds of damage. Hold on, I'm coming. Fuck. Didn't even notice that knocking my health down there. Now I've got like a little, uh, I've got a perk that lets me recover a bit of health every time I hit something with a melee attack. So going into melee is like a really good option. But that puts me at a lot of risk. Oh, there's not going to be more reading, is it? Ugh. Oh. <clears throat> okay, here we go. How do people feel about the reading, anyway? Because, like, I, I feel like I should be reading stuff out, but there's just so much of it. And it's just such dead air. Like, it just slows the pace down so much. Anyway, Dr. Lowe, I think I speak for all my colleagues in the laboratory when I say... I am worried about the OCI's treatment of our facilities. I can understand dismissing 10% of our staff as a punitive measure. I can understand cutting our deadlines in half in order to motivate us. But, and forgive me Dr. Lowe, but I can't understand demanding that we send human inquiry or untested compounds. Many of these compounds aren't tested because we know they're failures. Increasing production means proportionally, proportionately decreasing quality of enrichment. which means lower compatibility with human metabolism, which means higher rates and intensity of dangerous and potentially lethal side effects. Compound X is a highly complicated formula harvested from the waste of xenocytes. It's complicated because, unlike over 50% of Space's Choice Nutritional Catalog, the compound was not designed for human consumption. If the good people at OCI understand the complexity of the compound we're dealing with, there's a chance they'll give us the time and resources we need. We just need them to understand. This is a problem of miscommunication, Jasper. Just let me get up there and get, give, give them a presentation. I'll use markers and everything. What do you think? Can we do this? So the fact I've been on the phone all week and my voice hurts. It just... <clears throat> so much reading. Dr. Plavi. The OCI are comprised of, by a gaggle of carrion, of carrion feeders. I was fucked up that read. You go up there with your markers and your charts and your diagrams and they'll chew the flesh off your bones and then charge me for the meal. It is absolutely critical that I finish my research in peace and as soon as possible without interference from the OCI. So in answer to your questions, no we fucking can't. Best, just below. <coughs> Work fortifies it. Oh god, it's so much. Hmm. No, I definitely like hydrating. Because fuck him. <laughs> this is like. I mean, I'll be talking anyway, but it feels more natural if I'm talking in my own words, but if I'm reading other people's, I'm like concentrating on what they're saying. And it's like, I don't mind. As, as like you were saying, I don't, I don't mind text heavy stuff. It's just um, reading it out loud is quite tedious. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, God. Today we received our updated timetable from management, courtesy of Mr. Goodfellow. Six week deadlines are now three week deadlines. Some of my colleagues have been sacrificing sleep in order to meet these deadlines. Others have been medicating themselves with very small doses of enriched Compound X in order to combat the fatigue. Is Compound X, I guess, is Adrena time? Or like a new, or like the stuff that, you know, made the whole planet go weird. <laughs> Work fortifies the spirit. No, it fucking doesn't. So we will carry on. I count myself fortunate to have been spared in the decimation. Now they use the thing, at least. 
My former colleagues have nowhere to go. Their departure corresponded with a few critical doses of enriched compound X disappearing from our storage. Correlation does not imply causation, so I will not imply theft. I am concerned by the side effects of compound X. Even in its refined state, repeated use damages the synaptic patterns of the brain. Paranoia, violence, psychosis, and intense anxiety will haunt a repeated user for the rest of their short lives. Our enrichment process does not com not not combat the side effects of compound X. We were close to a breakthrough, but the damage to our research terminals is irreversible. Irreversible. My hope is that human inquiry will see the effects of this compound in their own tests and report these tests to creative incubation. If incubation is as chilled by these results as I am, they may provide us with more time and more resources. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Go on like this. <clears throat> a moment of silence for my... Recent batch of enriched compound X, the elegant complexity of m your molecular structure manifested in the hallucination of my own sleep-deprived mind. 30% lower rate of addiction, 75% compatible with human metabolism, and with side effect coefficient of just 0.65, you are our most mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. promising compound yet. Human inquiry would have been delighted to pour you into a syringe and stick you into a test subject. You were destroyed in an unplanned sabotage event, which is to say that Mr. Mosley's fancy tables couldn't predict this kind. This would happen. You were almost perfect. Our lab will never see the likes of you again. Compound X is notoriously difficult to enrich. Its molecular... Ins uh, mm, ah, words. Its molecular... Its molecular structure is fussy. In small doses, the compound provides a massive boost to energy pr and productivity. The clever buggers at OCI do not seem to understand this principle and have asked us to increase our dosage with, ev with every batch. <clears throat> High dosage compound X is even harder to enrich in a poorly enriched, poverty-stricken poverty chemical has none of the protective layers that inhabit, inhibit dangerous side effects. So what we have is a very... <clears throat> Is a cocktail of very bad side effects chased down with one of one massive rush of euphoric energy. Pleasant but extremely dangerous. I can only hope HIA's reports agree with my assessment. And it's like it's also the fact that a lot of the stuff that you're reading is very corporate speak as well. And it's designed that way, because it's meant to be it's meant to reflect the corporate nature of stuff. But fuck every oh, there's not another one, is there? Fuck every duck. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> I hope the writer was at least getting paid for this, because it's a lot. Uh. <clears throat> Dr. Lowe, I'm afraid I don't understand where your research notes are. I searched materials processing and discreetly asked the receptionist, but nothing turned up. If I had to guess, you left them in the basement lab lab laboratory is such a hard word to say. I'd ventured down there myself, but you know how I feel about primals. I apologize for the weakness of my constitution. If your research, research notes do turn up in the basement, may I ask you to think favorably on me when OCI asks you for a budget review. Word around the lab is the good fellow and the other leaders of the OCI want to make some deep cuts in our staff. If there's any truth to this rumor, I hope you will remember that I've always supported your desire to find a better, safer version of AT. Adrena time, I guess that is. Respectfully, Dr. Zhang. Oh. So much. Ugh. I mean, this is all good lore and world building, and I do appreciate that it's well written. It's just, uh, wish it wasn't so much of it. And it's not, it, it 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 does cut the fucking energy of the stream in half. Like it's so tedious. And like when you when I'm trying to read it faster, I end up reading the line below it and mixing up the words really, and it throws me off. <clears throat> it's one of those things. Like it's it's like it feels like getting stuck behind a slow walker, and it's like. You just kind of like if if you stuck behind a slow walker when you're not in, in a particular rush yourself, but it's still like okay, but I can feel the seconds of my life draining away as I'm doing this. <laughs> anyway, to whom it may concern, this morning I and my colleagues gathered in the reception hall. Every tenth staff member at this lab place was released from service. I am one of them. My indenturement contract to Spacer's Choice, which stipulates a lifetime of productive service as a researcher in the field of organic chemistry, has been terminated. I have served Spacer's Choice for most of my life, working at the Gorgon facility as a highlight of my career. If I leave Gorgon, I have nowhere else to go. Because my contract guaranteed my work for the duration of my life, to end that contract is tantamount to ending my life. If you have the power to reconsider your decision, I ask you kindly to reconsider. I am willing to work without pay if necessary. The job is all I have. Please allow me to fortify my spirit by continuing to work. Ah. Respectfully, Dr. Zhang. Um, 
Is that it? So it's irreversible damage. It's like... So the whole point is like everybody, like the, because we read this in another entry last time, like the indentured servants on this planet are basically, they're kind of working for free. They're basically slaves, um, but also like if their if their contract gets ended, then so does their life, kind of thing. They're like um, they're expected to kind of keep working even though their contract is over. And it's like a horrible Kafka esque. Uh, situation that they're in. So they do. They, they do want to keep working because the alternative is literally death. Um, I should take these things to sell them later. Ooh. Roscoe, it's <coughs> so I like these. If these are better. This, you must still be holed up at the Sprat Shack. And you're not going to like this one bit. I was trying to steal our recordings when things went crazy. I know. I know. Like I said, sorry. And I'm gonna be in a heap of trouble if I don't get them, so if you want to save my bacon, you need to do it for me. I need the three interviews we did with Ambrose, this one here, plus another recording of my own. I left that last one with a guy who owed me a favor at the garbage processing office in the chemical waste ravine. I'll leave an automech near Stellar Freighting. It'll want all five recordings, plus a passphrase. Glacial Age. Oh, and... Don't listen to my log, all right? Just, just stay safe and keep your head down. <clears throat> See, if they were all audio logs, that would be better. But I appreciate that that's expensive. You've got to hire voice actors to do the readings and stuff. So I don't understand why they'd, you know, it's like cheaper to uh, do text and stuff. But oh my god, <clears throat> not really conducive to a stream, really. All this text there. Uh, but apparently there's another phonograph here. So the phonograph stuff is... Oh, that's leading me out to the exit. Uh, the phonograph stuff is we found a journalist who was uh, looking into the Gorgon stuff before everyone went to shit. And he wants us to find all the all of his research notes, basically. Um, the... So there are more of them. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, there are more, more like... Um, um, Phonographs than we thought now, which I guess is good. But if you want to find, if we want to find all of them, uh, it'll unlock uh, another secret place, which I 100% want to do. Oh shit! So homey, like a family lived here. All that goodness turned to such devilish ends. And it is like a horrible dystopia. I, for one, would simply not have capitalism. Sell a lot, a lot of junk items off. Yeah, audio recordings where you could still run around and could have been a good alternative. Yeah, because I, I don't mind a good audio log. Like, I just love the contrast of like all the chirpy, cheerful, um, corporate jingles and just horror. It's like. Pure fucking nightmarish stuff going on. I can't pick that lock. Um, I mean, I'll take all the food and booze that they have because I have a problem. Oh shit! Whoa! That was close. <laughs> Nobody walk into the electric wire. That is important. So you've done the optional part. Oh, traps ahead. Maybe behind, too. Uh, traps just about everywhere, Captain. Yep. Should I really be using... Which one's got the most bullets? Oh, they both use the same ammo. So it doesn't matter. This is more fun to shoot, so I'm gonna use this one. I like that you find an Adrena time on everything. Like it's uh, <clears throat> really dr hammers home how this fucking drug caused so much problems. 
or so many problems rather. Oh. God, I love this gun. I wish we were fighting people so I could take advantage of it. I mean, a huge chunk of this game is just looking at um, and picking up items, but I don't want to leave any of this stuff behind. I'm going to shove it all into my, into my inventory and use it. Ooh, we've got a workbench here. Which I'm not going to do... Well, I'm kidding, I'm doing stuff, I'm doing stuff with this. I can't level up that anymore. Hmm. These are all quite high level, the stuff I've got. <clears throat> I mean, we can boost Pavati's equipment, I guess. I think Felix's stuff is already quite high. Yeah, he's already quite high. Oh, there's someone down there. I see you. <clears throat> so it could potentially... This kind of seems like... Um, don't have more. Ooh. Ah! Oh, that's unfortunate. Um... Oh, what? Okay, we can, we can operate the lift now. Uh, if we were better at hacking. Oh, no! <clears throat> <sighs> From Tanaka S to Low J. Subject, please explain. I'm going to have to take the researcher's side on this one. Your absence during an emergency is conspicuous. Conspicuous. I don't want to report you because I don't want corporate auditors scheduling interviews with the entire staff while they're trying to meet deadline. The unplanned sabotage event already halted experimentation and development. We're trying to get our operations running again, and we could use all the help we can get. I'm already down one staff member. San germain has gone. You know why. You know this team. You owe this team an explanation to any number of grievances. Your absence is the most urgent one. But I'll take an explanation as to why there are primals being held in the caverns near our waste disposal site. They're your primals, aren't they? From Dr. Lowe to Tanaka. Mr. Tanaka, no, I can't explain the primals. Primals defy explanation. They are a miracle of evolutionary adaption and a treasure trove of interesting genetic material. <coughs> I'm not going to explain my alleged absence either. This is because I am not absent at all. My presence is implicit, implicit in the work of my researchers. Fucking gaslighting. The researchers still employed in this department are skilled and more than capable of repairing any damage done by the alleged saboteur. Please don't bother me again with trivial problems. You are the security, Steve. You are the security... whatever word I said. Steve. You are the Steve security chief. I think I was re partially reading the word stick afterwards and that threw me off. Stick to w securing things, including, but not limited to, the safety of the lab and my privacy. Warm regards and pleasant felicitations. I don't think those are warm regards at all. <clears throat> I've just finished filing my official report on the unplanned sabotage event. Unfortunately, filing a report on a sabotage event requires me to also include a list of captured, apprehended, and neutralized saboteurs. Company policy. No list means I'm getting arrested for dereliction of duty and you're getting penalized for hiring me. Saboteurs is plural. I can't include Mr. Saint Germain's name and be done with it. As a last resort, I have been forced to include the names of all former excuse me, employees whose contracts were recently terminated in the decimation. These researchers are no longer part of Project Gorgon and will likely not survive without a job, so I may as well use their names to save our jobs. I've filled my report I filed my report last night and haven't been able to sleep since. Just to let you know that I will be filing for a transfer at the end of the next cycle. Do we have the? Do we have any like brain, bit brain juice to like make us smarter for a second? See if this will. Uh... <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, don't want to use Adrena time because that turned everyone into body attributes. One of these is, uh, was like the. There we go, caffeine energy drink. Let's um. Niche that for this and 
and then put food back on there. If we had we had Tommy Tellaritos. Is that hey we're smart enough now. <laughs> we had an energy drink and now we can suddenly know how to disable all the auto mechanicals. Hooray! Caffeine, what can't it do? That was worth using the consumable for that, honestly. Like, that's why we keep those things around. Oh, fuck! Ah! What happened then? Don't join me down here! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no! What's happening? Ah, oh, that was... Ah, oh, no! <laughs> Could not have gone worse! <laughs> shit! Oh, well, we found the, we found a shortcut then. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Um. Right, we're close enough to go into melee, so let's do that. <laughs> that was amazing. That couldn't have gone better. Um. Ah. Uh, That's the last of them. <laughs> He just walked right off the edge of the world. I thought that glitched out of the game or something then. That was a... Oh, another one. Oh, shit. Hold on. Switch to melee. Combat is insanely hard compared to the rest of the game. <laughs> Steef. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm, that's my name from now on. The Steef. But yeah, I picked up the alcoholic traits and the food addictive trait because I, I thought like the extra perk points would be worth it. And they kind of were. But also, I've got to constantly keep shoveling food and booze into my face to stay alive. Otherwise, all my stats decrease, much like in the real world. <laughs> there we go. Mr. Lowe was awfully messy, wasn't he? Thank <laughs> me for real. Yeah. Oh, I've got a Frankenstein's monster situation. Look at that, under a sheet and everything. What are the chances of that going to pop up and try and kill us later? You survived. Yeah, I'm awesome. Gorgon's been a ruin for years and years. You think they've been here the whole time? The Project Gorgon's dead, right? It shut down for good. There's no way anybody could get this place running again. I mean... I'm not, I'm not gonna take this stuff. Oh good, there's more messages. Oh shit! Well, I hit the... I didn't mean to press that twice. Oh well. Uh, synthesis... The manufacturer is currently locked. Um, so we can. Oh, we can't do. Oh, oh well. <clears throat> there are so many messages. Oh my god. <sighs> Pursuant to last week's instance. See, like, I'm trying to read it, read it faster, but reading it faster makes me confuse the words more. <clears throat> Pursuant to last week's incidents, new security practices are now in effect. All lab personnel must tidy their workstations at the end of their shift, close and lock all drawers, safes, closets, vents, and lab doors before leaving for the day. All visitors must be accompanied. Furthermore, any lab tech accompanying a guest who has not received certification in either self-defense or hand-to-hand -hand combat must be accompanied by a member of the, secu of the security team. Must be accompanied by the Steef. All confidential information must be remain as such. Do not discuss the nature of your work outside or inside the lab, except to warn peers of imminent danger, such as fire, chemical spill, or suspected corporate espionage. All laboratory... All lab techs are to isolate themselves until further notice. Any lab tech found fraternizing in groups of two or more, or found speaking with the same person more than once, 
will be remanded to Space's Choice Human Resource Re-Education and Reallocation Department. There it is. There's always one terrifying capitalism thing in there. <clears throat> Finally, unless you are actually physically sitting in an interview session pre-approved by me, do not speak to the fucking journalists. That is a good, that's good advice in general. How to survive in the UK. Do not speak to the fucking journalists. <clears throat> Excellent workplace, 10 out of 10 on Glassdoor. I mean, I've worked in places worse. I've worked in worse places. <laughs> mm. Ooh, and Olivia Ambrose is the mother of the woman who hired us. And she's the one who whose journal we're trying to get. That's basically the, the, the framing device for this quest. <clears throat> Jasper, I dug into the volunteer data Marion sent over. You were right. The current formulation is resulting in alarming outcomes, even by SC standards. Priantha and I performed a handful of autopsies on this week's deceased and made a few notable observations. In one case, that of a young man in his early 20s, we noted a degree of grey matter loss one would expect to see in a man of 70. His brain had also atrophied to a shocking extent, again, as one might expect in a much older man. In another case, that of a woman in middle age, the subject was no longer able to achieve natural sleep. After 11 consecutive days of wakefulness... She was no longer able to distinguish her violent hallucinations from reality, yet even as she spiralled, she demanded additional injections. I was sure our last tweak would reduce the incidence of violence among the volunteer population. We might attempt to further refine the compound through partitioning, though I'm doubtful that will be efficacious. Fuck off with that. Efficacious. Fucking... You had a, th you had a thesaurus on your desk, didn't you? Violence aside, I'm growing increasingly concerned by the habit-forming nature of the compound. What do you think? Maybe stop injecting it into people. <clears throat> the materials we work with are dangerous and will result in permanent injury, disfigurement, or madness when handled for extended periods. Therefore, all lab personnel will now report to the project physician, Dr. Priantha LeBlanc. That's a cool name, Priantha LeBlanc. Um, for monthly physicals and psychiatric evaluations, I do this out of an abundance of caution. Schedule your first appointment immediately and notify me when you do. I have access to your medical records, so I will know when you shirk. Do not make me drag you to his office myself. Was that it? Oh, I'll go in messages too. <clears throat> uh, Dr. Ambrose, Ari, what you think? These days I try to think as little as possible. Thinking is a dreadful habit, which leads to self-awareness, which leads to resignation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's not wrong. It's true that the current formulation is resulting in alarming outcomes, but not, I think, by SC standards. SC standards are low, again. It's true. It's, that's the whole joke about Space's Choice, is like, you've tried the best, now try the rest. It's not the best choice, it's Space's Choice. Like, it is the cheap stuff designed to raise the prices of the other stuff. Uh, you report 11 consecutive days of wakefulness, and SC sees 11, 11 consecutive days of productivity. You report an inability to distinguish allu violent hallucinations from reality. SC is going to try and push us to turn those, hallucin who's, um, those hallucinations into phantom images of company logos. You say the compound is habit-forming, and SC is going to see an increase in demand for our never-ending supply of xenocyte waste. To be serious, yes, the compound is absolutely habit-forming. Addiction correlates with dosage, and dosage size is inversely proportional to enrichment quality. Long as corporate asks us to keep our dosage minimal and controlled, there's a m reasonable chance we can improve the enrichment process to filter out some of the dangerous side effects. That's going to take time, a lot more time, than corporate realises. Right. Message archive, one. An employee termination of Herbert Saint Germain. Effective immediately, Herbert Saint Germain is no longer employed, uh, no longer an employee of Space's Choice P and P R and D division. His body has been forwarded to the chemical waste dump for processing. <laughs> yeah, when I said they they give up their lives when they give up their employment, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Mr. Saint Germain was a saboteur sent by a rival firm to disrupt our vital efforts. It's only thanks to the swift reporting of one of your esteemed colleagues that Mr. Saint Germain was prevented from causing any significant damage to our facilities, intellectual property, or staff. I understand that Mr. Saint-Germain was popular around the Gorgon Campus for... Gorgon... Campus... for his genial and helpful demeanour. That is because he was a spy. <laughs> if you encounter any simil similarly friendly staff, alert a member of the security team immediately. We are shifting all of Mr. Saint-Germain's remaining tasks to other laboratory... lab... 
laboratory technicians. Finally, anyone caught visiting his grave or discussing his departure will be remanded to human resources and blah 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 blah. God, I hope that's the end of it. Since we've been traveling together, we've visited a lot of places that set my teeth on edge. This here makes my skin crawl. Halcyon's got no shortage of creepy science labs, boss. Mm hmm. But this place? There's something real twisted about this place. Yeah, I agree. Oh, well, about what I expect from a Space's Choice operation. I'm, not sure, I'm sure no one meant this. You remember the guy who was running it, right? <clears throat> no, I think something went very wrong. Is like I agree. Like you know me, I don't got a head for science and formulas and whatnot. But even I can tell that something went horribly wrong here, and a lot of people got hurt. I know it ain't saying much, being Spacer's choice and all, but Doc Lowe and his team was their best and brightest. How could this happen? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say extremely narrow superlative, but you said it, this is Space's Choice, best and brightest, brightest we're talking about. Oh, they were pushed to do the impossible by people who weren't accountable. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're both good. They're both good choices. <laughs> said straight to the meat grinder, yep. It is like anyone, and, and this whole thing is like, they, like everyone who... Like, they fired one in ten people arbitrarily just to prove that, oh, yeah, we've... To get more more out of the remaining staff. And then there was a saboteur, so they blamed all the ones they'd fired to retroactively justify the firing, and it's so fucked up. Um, but I, I like the comedy option. This is Space's Choice, Best and Brightest we're talking about. But I also like the Space Communism option. They were pushed to the impossible by people who weren't accountable. Because, yeah, it's capitalism. I'm going with that one. Yeah, well... Maybe they should have pushed back. Maybe they should have said no. You're absolutely right, Felix. <clears throat> I get now why Miss Ambrose would want to clear her mom's name. If the folks responsible for Edgewater's woes tried to blame him on my dad, I couldn't have let it stand. She's right here, let's get to the general before we jump to conclusions. I want to see what, <clears throat> what else this investigation digs up. Yeah. I'm really curious now. I want to see what else it digs up, too. As long as I don't have to read it out. I like that! That you, the, they they chime in with what they think, cause yeah, like that's what the main game needed more of, and it had plenty of it already. But like opportunities like that, to like none of that stuff affects the game at all. It's just flavor. Like you're just kind of choosing a dialogue option, and um, I need the key to that. <clears throat> yeah, you're just basically choosing a dialogue option, and like it doesn't affect anything. But in the story of the game, you're picking the, what your character would say, and it's so immersive, and I love it. Night falls <clears throat> on Gorgon. Though I suppose it's always dark here in the void. The lab is empty, and I am at last alone. I'm preoccupied with thoughts of the single-celled xenocytes that make their home here on this rock. These primordial creatures persist despite the hostility of their surroundings. No. They require adversity to thrive. Perhaps that's why our bodies react to theirs. There is a harmony in us. The law didn't craft us for the void, yet we scrabble across its cold worlds, building, persisting, as the xenocytes do. We live. Against all odds, we live. But for how long? It's been a while since I've saved. I'm gonna save again. Cause I don't trust I don't trust the auto save. <clears throat> I don't think we can rely on it. <clears throat> if we die suddenly, we'll have to do all that again. I don't wanna do all that again. Gonna be a relief to see the stars again. This cave's making me all jumpy. What's this going to be? Hmm. Have we really explored this whole place, though? Because <laughs> I feel like we may have missed some stuff. That was, like, diary entry number three. Implying there are two more that we may have missed. And I'm in the mood for a dungeon crawl. Let's... Let's fucking explore the whole place.
Because to be honest, a dungeon crawl would, like, when you're dungeon crawling, you're not reading. And ooh, we got primals, so let's do some science to see which weapon they hate the most. Let's repair, every repair everything we have and burn this stuff for parts, because <clears throat> we don't want any, we don't want long guns. Uh, let's see what they hate more. Acid or plasma? So acid does... Okay, oh damn. <clears throat> A lot. Fuck. Acid does... Oh fuck. Like 420. And this does... Oh god. Acid is better. Acid is better. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. Ah shit. Ah, I'm dead. Yeah, the primals do N-ray damage, and N-ray damage is fucking annoying to deal with. <clears throat> yeah, N-ray damage is just like... Like a long-term status effect. That just... Uh, yeah. It just does damage over time. It's hard to heal that damage back up again, because it's so... There's so much damage quickly. So I think they hate the acid more than... Damn it. Fuck's sake. I mean, I'm gonna keep my. Oh, fuck's sake, I gotta do all this again. There uh, we go. <clears throat> I didn't get a chance to see if they hated the acid or the plasma more there. It'll be a relief to see the stars again. This cave's making me all jumpy. Mm. It's hard to tell, like, it's normally um, creatures or non human and non robot creatures and animals, they hate plasma more than anything else, but. I think these primals might be slightly different, like re more rewired than. Um, <clears throat> and it's, it's like as soon as the combat, and they can tunnel up to you as well, so you can't really keep them at a distance. Is this where we were before? Because all this seems new to me. <clears throat> Katrina time. See? Fucking gets in your brain. Fucking corporate jingles. <clears throat> but I'm going to take those pep pills, aren't I? Like, just in case we have to hack any more computer terminals. Um, did we... <clears throat> I was going to say, this doesn't seem like where, where we were before. Because there was primals, like, there. And there weren't, there weren't primals there. Ugh, very weird. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, close this out because I've got my a bunch of windows on my laptop. I want to close them out so uh, I can actually see the stream. <clears throat> and we have enough stuff to, to like, yeah, because we went further into the yeah. God damn it! Yeah, we we missed a huge chunk of progress there. I'll do a proper save when we when we get. Um, right here we go. This is where I was before. Right, saving it, <clears throat> tweeting it. Oh, 
do I really want to do science? And maybe I'll draw. So that does bang. Like 400 or so. And. Hang on a minute. Shit, every bed. Um, Jesus! Ah! Is one of them behind me? So hard to tell. Jesus. Ah! What's happening? Yeah! To be fair, that was... That was fucking nuts. Like... They, they like tunnel into, they tunnel below the earth and pop up behind you. So when you try and back off, you're hitting something. You're like, what, what am I hitting? I know that thing's, it's, they're hitting me. Jesus. Every single bed shitted, yeah. Fucking hell. That's a tough, this is a tough battle. Like, and you can't, annoyingly, you can't like back off. Because they get behind you. And it's so, and you can't like, and that's why I was like, I'm, I'm pressing the button to back off, but I just keep walking into them. Fuck. Every duck. Alright. I'm gonna try it with acid, because... Shit. Sorry, guys. Every man for themselves here. Ah! Oh, they're still alive. Uh. Oh my god, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, fucking hell. I think there's so many enemies on screen that the ga that the thing is glitching. I can't see what's happening. I was in I was in control of that situation, and then suddenly the game glitched, and I couldn't see what was happening. Jesus Christ, this is hard. They are so fucking tanky, like, they just, like... Cause I'm wondering, because I, I don't... No, should we do one... Should we do a run for science? Like, that's Dark Souls, this shit. Um, so we clearly know Plasma is not doing much to them. Acid doesn't seem to be doing much to them, but it seems to be doing slightly better. I'm wondering if we can, like, sneak around them, maybe. Though my sneak skill is dog shit in this game, like... Um, oh, fuck! Press the... It's okay, it's fine. And one thing that's annoying is, like, the normal... X is normally the button on every other game where you pick stuff up. In this game, it's square. Like, and every, I do... I hit the wrong one so many times. It's like, they're so tough, and there's so fucking many of them, and they can move behind you. And once they get behind you, it's like fucking... Chaos. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something because I can't just stay here this whole time. Uh, fuck it. Fuck you! Ah, die! No, oh, fuck. Okay. Alright, they're coming up behind me. So let's. Just make the most out of this fucking time dilation stuff. Fuck! Die, you bastard! Die, you bastard! No! Oh, what's happening? Okay, I've got. Ah, there we go. Do we get it? No, I don't think... Oof. I'm going to save it here because I think we survived a... We've taken a good chunk out of their, <laughs> out of their ranks there. <clears throat> yeah, the acid gun seems to be the seems to be the one here. Fuck. Fuck. No, I think it's just the N-ray damage having an extra effect. 
I think like the my poor old PS4 is struggling with the sheer amount of enemies, the sheer numbers that are flying on the screen, and the status effect stuff that's happening. So it's making it more confusing than it needs to be. Um, right, how did, I ran out this way. Heroically ran this way. No, I didn't. It was back here. <clears throat> no, it wasn't. Right back here. I'm gonna actually gonna save it here again because Jesus. <laughs> Not only is it like hard to fight these things, it's a difficult arena to deal with. <clears throat> but definitely Dark Soulsing my way through it and just kind of saying I'm gonna throw this run away just to try out the acid gun. We know there's definitely more of them here. I'll take, I'll take your fucking brain too, dickhead. <clears throat> Never mind, absolutely saves gone the shit out of this. Yep. And we can't walk in that because that's that's poison. Yeah, the 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 beefed up primals they've got in this DLC are really hard. Like. And don't get me wrong, I love it. Like, it's very Dark Soulsy though. Like, you gotta get yourself from um, exploring and uh, role playing to right. This is gonna be uh, how many runs are we gonna throw at this? What are we prepared to lose to uh, to get the results we want? I'm gonna save here because yeah, these things will rip me apart. <clears throat> but I think I'm being stupid as well because I've, I've got the I've got the tools for it. I've got the ta the time dilation. I just never use it that much. And like when I get overwhelmed, I should be hitting the time dilation button because that's what it's there for. And not just firing blindly. But we should get <clears throat> get the little one out the way. In theory, in theory, that's what we wanted to do there. Oh shit. Well, that still hit me even though I tried to move out the way, so that's not good. Oh! Are you alright, Felix? Jesus. <clears throat> that was intense. And the thing is, we don't actually have to come this way. <laughs> we could have just left and carried on with the main quest. I, I just wanted to explore. Oh, shit. <sighs> Robot. Unexpected. Well, swap to our electricity gun and... Um, there we go. That's the order I want it in. Alright, we came this way, didn't we? Oh, this is somewhere new. Okay. Oh, fuck! Oh, I was scratching my hand and I fired instead of sneaking in. I am at this point, like, just doing this for the completionist's sake. I could just move on with the main story, but I have to know what else is here. Oh, don't be a load of messages. Come on, guys. Critical update. This is an automated message triggered by Space Choice Contingency Management Program. Please do not respond to this message. Congratulations, Contingency 771, abundance of raw material is now in effect due to a higher than prepared, <clears throat> higher than projected volume of compound X harvested in this lab. lab your production quotas have been raised by 200%. Please bear in mind that bi-weekly quota reviews are automatically generated and forwarded to Project Gorgon Administration and the Office of Creative Incubation. Any dereliction, dereliction in production will be reflected in your review. God damn. 
Hmm. Exposed the compound X sample to N ray concentrate for 30 seconds. Consulted research notes. Notes incomplete and damaged. Exposed compound X level. I'm not even reading this right. Exposed compound X sample to N ray concentrate for 60 seconds. Sample failed. Toxicity levels high. Disposed. Exposed compound X sample for attempt numbers. Woke up, fell asleep at table. Sample failed. Overexposure to lab atmosphere. Toxicity levels high. Disposed. Research is addendum. Unplanned sabotage event destroyed. Any relevant research notes. Forced to rely on outdated notes. Expected time lasts 6 to 16 months. Attempt to replicate research. Unsuccessful. We'll try again after resting eyes for a minute. So yeah, these guys were just being worked to fucking death. Like, given impossible deadlines and just uh, left to it. But Felix is right. They could have. But then also, if they said no, as he said, he, he is right. If they'd have, but, they, but if they'd have said no, and it's like, well, I'm not, we're not doing it. They'd have been killed anyway. They were in a lose. They were in a lose lose situation here. <clears throat> well, I don't think we're. No. Oh shit. Oh, my leg. My precious leg. So I don't think there's much else. Oh, there's a thing here. The effects of compound X are inescapable. The uh, refined excrement of the xenocyte mm. life form. It's a fine powder. Very fine. It finds its way into absolutely everything. Life uh, finds Even a way. in the water now and the air. It settles like a veil over all of Gorgon. The laboratory techs get the worst of it. We all appreciated the boost to mood and productivity at first, but we're at each other's throats in an instant now. I've had to break up two fistfights this week alone. This aggression must be inherent to the formula, to Compound X. How do I stop it? Did we come here? <laughs> Fucking Alpavar, didn't walk into the acid. I think this is this is where we fought the primals before, wasn't it? Yeah, this looks familiar. Just say poop, Olivia. It's okay. <clears throat> yeah. I think they, don't they've mentioned what the xenocytes are yet. I think that it's been brought up a few times, but I don't have the context for it yet. So I feel like we're missing one diary entry. Where haven't we been to? So I want to get all three of them. I want to complete. I want the completionist in me wants all the information. Where haven't we been? Right, we came. That's where we went through. That was the little shortcut we found. This was also another shortcut. And this one. A little cave leads down to where the primals were. <clears throat> have we been? Have we been down this way? This seem. No, we've been here before. Yeah, this is where we first came in and found the um, the, the recording. So that's not gonna do as much good, is it? Uh, what's up here? <clears throat> you know where we haven't been. This is a this is a thought that like something I just remembered. Then, when we fell through the floor and ended up having to deal with all those thingies. We should go back there and not fall through the floor this time. Where was that? Uh, I feel like I'm going around in circles. It was here, right? Yeah, it was here. Let's go through here and not fall through the floor this time. 
because there was more to explore. See, it was like we went in here and we kind of went around and we walked right into that's where we fell through the floor. Okay. Anything else here we've missed? Yes. We switched and there we go. Yeah, we switched an elevator on, didn't we? <clears throat> there we go, new place. Ah, oh, it leads us straight here, though. Oh, I don't think we're going to find this other diary entry, you know. It's like, it's a needle in a haystack. But god damn did we get lucky there. Like, we missed a primal battle, apparently. Fuck it. Have we got what we need from this? What else do we need here? Um, so the phonograph at the ravine. We've been there. We can pick that up. Let's, let's carry on. I was hoping to get all the diary entries, but... You know... I don't know where else to search in there. That was interesting, though. It was a very hair-raising battle with <laughs> those primals. Like, they're tough to deal with. I think the way to deal with them is to kind of use my uh, tactical time dilation like, at the best possible moment. And working out when that moment is, is part of the challenge of it. We have more junk to sell now, so let's sell that. Have all the toxic... Have, have some brains. Let's stuff some brains into this vendor machine. Um, do we actually have... I mean... We could probably sell a couple of these, because these things take up so much room we discovered last week. Like... And a lot of, it's good it's worth having a bunch of weapon and armor mods, but I've kind of got the ones that I want already. But also it's worth having at least one of each, just in case I decide to switch some things around. Yeah, I'm leaning fully. I'm fully fucking corporate pill now. <laughs> right. Um, where's the... This. So there is another one nearby. I'm just wondering, is it worth... How do I get there though? Do I go just follow this road around? I mean, if we make a right here, apparently this will lead us deeper into the horrible pits. Maybe not. Maybe I just follow the quest marker, right? That, that, that'd be smart. Mm. Well, shit. More primals, yep, more primals. Let's do a save. 
Because, like, the environment where you tend to fight these primals in are around acid pits. And you don't want to walk into the acid, because that's further death. Right. Got one there, one there. I'm just kind of located here. So, we've got a couple of them here. We could probably take these out. I'm ready for this. Nobody messes with you, boss. Yeah, that could have gone a lot worse. Help ourselves with a few brains, why not? God damn. This is a very terror this is a very this is a weirdly fucking Creepy looking place, man. I... Oh, there's Sprat. Hey, buddy. Jeez, there's something about all that fucking, all these crushed things that makes me really nervous for some reason. <clears throat> Garbage processing log. Look at all that, look at all that! Fucking hell! I ain't reading this! Jesus Christ, that is so fucking much! Holy shit, that is so fucking much! Oh, uh, cheers, uh, good luck with the job interview, and yeah, I'll uh, hopefully hope it goes well, and cheers for sticking around. Fuck it, should I? Oh. Jesus, there's so much of this, though. I'll be reading this for another hour, at least. <clears throat> First day on the new job. I can't believe this. What a joy to be here. What a sudden and complete surprise to be promoted to head of garbage by... I'm stumbling on my words. Jesus Christ, look at that. There's so much. I don't really know. This feels like it'd be worth it. This feel. Should I just fucking persevere and push through? Because this feels like it'd be worth it. It feels important. I just don't want to read this so much. It's like three pages of stuff here. Alright. Better to do the thing than live with the fear of it. First day on the new job. I can't believe this. What a joy to be here. What a sudden and complete surprise to be promoted to head garbage processing officer. It would be nice if there were another officer here to teach me the job, but I guess he fell into the feed chute last week. I have made a note not to do this. Day two. I'm starting by reading all available notation. I feel like I'm reading all available notation regarding this trash compactor. His Spaces Choice believes that I, a humble chemist, am suited to such a lofty to such lofty work that I will do my best to succeed at it. Unfortunately, the operating manual for the compactor is covered in bloodstains, which does make it difficult to understand. Day three, compactor was making weird noises today. I thought it was a problem with the compression chamber, so I spent most of the afternoon troubleshooting with the manual. Turns out a sprat had gotten into the hopper. Day five, the emergency stop does not work. Day 8. My arms are killing me, and my back, and let's say, yep, yeah, my shoulders. Most of me aches. I thought this was supposed to get easier. Guess I'm not used to physical labour yet. I'm seriously considering, considering microdosing with Adrena time. Maybe once they've gotten a few more of the kinks sorted out, assuming the idiots over at the chem lab stopped bickering long enough to do their jobs. Day 19. What am I even doing here? I'm a chemist. For law's sake. Oh, that was a heavy fucking burp. Jesus. Oh, I don't know how any of this works. <laughs> what any of this stuff is. I'm fucking scared. I'm surprised I have both arms left. Not that anyone else ever comes by the shack to notice. Day 33. I don't know why I'm bothering with the log. No one's going to read it. No one has any intention of reading it. It's pen and paper. They could at least give me a flying fish. Huh? At least pretend to give a fly. Oh, fucking hell. I, I missed the pretend there. They're like, give me a flying fish stick? Is that like a brand of terminal? Or they could at least pretend to give a flying fish sticks and give me a data log. This is sprat shit. Day 52. Today I compacted a marauder's corpse into a tiny cube of meat. Oh, that's why these things make me uncomfortable. 
just to see what it would look like. I should have felt disgusted, but when I looked at the end result, did, I didn't feel a thing. Day 76. Is there something I meant to do to maintain the machine? Maybe oil it or something? Day 100. What a milestone! Day 101. Made a game out of lobbing sprats into the compactor's hopper. Gave myself extra points for the live one. What have I become? Day 141. I wonder what it would look like to run a manta swarm through the feed chute. What would it look like all crushed down into a tiny cube? Fucking hell. This, yeah, this is why this stuff made me just instantly uncomfortable. Day 183, got a message from the mine to come out and clean up some kind of cargo rail accident. Had to trek all the way out there just to tell them I don't deal with fluids, morons. Day 211, here's me at my lowest. I've been picking out the most hazardous, hazardous trash I can find and I'm saving it up to do something nasty to Clarence's place. Need to figure out which room is his. Day 231, what if I just dove in there? Lord, that would hurt. Imagine how slowly and painfully it would crush my, crush my body down into juice and meat and shards of bone. Day 269, the mine crew is still after me to clean up their little accidents, like I'm not up to my ears in garbage out here. Bodily fluids are outside my wheelhouse. Any bodily fluids from compressing organic material are just incidental. Day 275, I'm done with this log, I'm done with everything. Maybe I'll let the garbage pile, garbage pile up forever. Maybe it'll pile up so high it'll spill out across the canyon and drown everything and everyone. I can only hope. So yeah, this is why... These cubes make me nervous. Those are people and sprats and stuff. At least he's got booze, I suppose. God damn, this place is really, really terrifying. I picked everything up. Let's grab the phonograph and get the funk out of here. Tell me about the production of Adrena Time, Dr. Ambrose. I hear Compound X is a unique challenge to work with. It's temperamental. It must be refined under tightly controlled circumstances at tremendously low temperatures. Do you compound it with anything else? Tell me more about your refining process. Our audience is conversant in the sciences. Very detail-oriented, so don't be afraid to get technical. Last time I met you, you spoke like a groundbreaker builder sprat. Why the sudden airs and such specific questions? Does your minder know what you're up to? Does he suspect you're a spy? But, pardon me. Was she the spy the whole time? Anyway, let's do a save, because there's a primal up ahead, and we know how much these things kick the shit out of me. Corporate intrigue. <laughs> I got distracted because my stream died then. So then. That's one down. Ah. Oh, damn it, Pavadi. Yeah. Yeesh! They can tank some hits, those guys. I feel like this is all, like, new stuff, though. Definitely worth exploring around here. I mean, no, this is where we came from? Yeah, we, we... Okay, so we've closed this loop. Okay, that's, that's good. I'm going to do a save because I don't fucking trust how many primals there are around here. <laughs> oh, what time are we on? I'm probably not going to stream very long tonight because my jaw, my jaw hurts now from all that reading. <clears throat> but I do want to see what else is out here. Let's get to here. Let's do let's explore another horrible place. 
At least this is on the other side of the planet, so maybe there won't be as many primals out here. We can only hope. Yeah, the trick to the primals just seems to be uh, tacti tactical time dilation as much as possible. Because they can completely overwhelm you if you let them. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh fuck! Fuck thee! Four, I think. <clears throat> ah, fuck. Come here. the spooky music that plays whenever you open up a new lab. <clears throat> oh, I just realized that the administer Ludo dead thing is the um, uh, Ludovico from the other DLC. It's finally getting around to the uh, the newspapers, I guess. like a couple of bottles of dragon stout here. I'll get the other one ready. Right, we're looking for the other phonograph, but there's got to be other stuff in here that we can look at too. Hopefully there won't be as much fucking reading here. So we can get rid of all of our junk items. So even after getting rid of all those, we've still got so much stuff. But I guess we've got a lot of weapons here. Is that you are kind, because you use adrena time. Fuck, that's terrifyingly dystopian. I mean, we're never going to use the heavy items or the, long, or the long guns, so we can get rid of these. And, yeah, two-handed melee weapons, we're never going to use them. And, yeah, heavy armor. Oh, wait, hold on. I mean, yeah, heavy armor we're never going to use. Like, clothing. We've got a helmet. I'm not going to put a bit of clothing on. I mean, I would get rid of these, but they don't weigh anything, and I like, they look pretty cool and dumb. Right. Uh, stinks real bad. What do we think? Oh, law. It reeks like death warmed over. I'm gonna hurl. Let's save before we go in here, in the smelly corridor. Dream of time. It's going to be in my fucking head all week. What's this? A oh, necklace. 
Smelly tunnel, smelly tunnel. What are we gonna find at the end of the smelly tunnel? Sounds like me when I'm trying to read from the screen. Okay, we can make it through this, right? Good attitude, Bravadi. We made it through the chem lab in one piece. I reckon we can handle this. Yeah, she just said that, Felix. Come on. How much do you want to bet we don't make it through? <laughs> we fucking get the shit kicked out of us here. <clears throat> I love how fucking creepy this DLC is, though, man. It's, uh... I still don't know. Is this the best? I'm gonna equip myself for robots and people, and then we'll see what what else. Oh. Here we go. Eat every dick. We're pretty good at this. Another one over there. Dang. Okay. Oh, that's the last of him. And you've got a, we've got a fortune in a in Adrena time here. If nothing else, we could sell a bunch of these. Mm, well done. Yeah, it's very generous with the ammo, which makes me suspicious as hell. White chocolate yummies, then you. This is where we came in. Okay. I am actually actually going to do another save because I don't fucking trust it. I trust the auto save. It loves to throw me back just far enough to be annoying. Open my other bottle of uh, Dragon Stout. It's fuck so fucking good. This dra this Dragon Stout is so fucking good. Really cheap too. Like it's it was like one twenty per bottle, and the bottles aren't particularly big. They're like maybe half a pint in each one. But it tastes really good. Very strong. It's like seven and a half percent, I think. Yeah, seven seven and a half percent. Does the job. But it tastes really good as well. Like really like the like quite a sweet aftertaste to it. But I guess at a high percentage it would be really sweet. God, they are throwing bullets and uh healing items at me, like it's going out of style here. We're in for a f in for a scrap here, here, ladies and germs. That was a good little jump scare. These folks were supposed to be volunteers. Why do they got them bunking like prisoners? Honestly, boss, I've seen sissy pigs with better living arrangements. I mean, um, how much you want to bet they probably weren't volunteers? I 
I mean, it's bad, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a good thing that they were kept in a horrible, horrible conditions like this. And they're not good conditions, but they are comparatively better than a lot of prisons in the real world. <laughs> Oh, this is, this is the way we came in. Okay. Spooky, I love it. It's so good. It's like genuinely unsettling. Ah, it's locked. Right, we got a scrap on our hands. Let's uh try and do it quietly if we can. Fuck the shit, okay. Drone was the problem. I think it's gone now. I feel bad for these fucking dickheads, but <coughs> not much we can do. They're gonna kill us anyway. Cool. I've never seen anyone fight with their fists in this game before. Let's make sure I'm all reloaded with every gun. That was cool. That was like a little mix of both types of both enemy types there. Oh, excuse me. Do you know, I much prefer this to fucking all that reading we were doing at the other facility? <clears throat> I mean, I'm not. I don't hold hold up much hope that we be, will be totally free from reading in this one. But it's cool that this is more action and environmental storytelling than oh god. Fuck, okay. Here we go. Attack, attack. Ah. So hard to get a fucking bead on this guy. Well, wow, fuck. Fuck. Hold on. Get the drone off the board. It's bad, it's fine.
Holy shit. This dude is just fucking eating this. Oh fuck! <laughs> it just exploded! Everyone all right? I could have gone a million years without ever having to see that. Jesus. like hit him and he just like burst into pieces in front of me. It was grotesque. don't like this. This place is terrifying. Oh god! <clears throat> Test chamber three is the stuff of nightmares. Look at this fucking place! Jesus! Sneak back because I want to hear this. I thought we were meant to shoot all these. Oh fuck. Here we go. Nice one. Let's try and hold them here if we can. Oh, God, I'm coming. I'm coming, Felix. Or I would be. Are the drones on my side? Holy shit. Hold on. Ah! I realize the drones seem to be like... I'm getting an end raid. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming for body. Hold on. Coming. Fuck, that's a drone. That one was quite tough. <laughs> but I thought the drones were kind of on my side because they were killing all the marauders, but then they turned on me, so <laughs> clearly not. So tantalizingly close to that phonograph, though. What's going to be in here, though? Let's save before we <coughs> deal with it. Keep him quiet, Cap. Oh. Where's the phonograph? I don't think we've discussed the side effects, Dr. Ambrose. The drug's not ready for release yet. The side effects are immaterial. So it's dangerous. Perhaps it results in some thrilling mutations. Forearms, maybe? Or a second head? 
Try delusion, paranoia, gastric bleeds, violence, and fatal insomnia. Dang. Uh. Shall I enumerate every way our volunteers have died? She loves ten dollar words. Suicide by automech, suicide by hanging, starvation. Cut the recording, Georgie. You sure, boss? I just put on a new cylinder. Stroke, spontaneous combustion, internal exsanguination. Just turn it off. Well, 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 welcome, volunteers, to the combat test. Under the guidance of the Spacer's Choice Technicians, we will be completing our great practice. There's another phonograph here. Volunteers are expected to follow all the instructions. Wait till she's done yammering. Failure to come, failure to do so Dr. Blakely. Subject demonstrates <laughs> catastrophic personality collapse. Uh, fucker bit me. Marion. <sighs> Interesting. I think I'm going into shock. <sighs> Strap it, everybody. Oh, God. Compliance testing parameters. Data entry, phys mm. physical exertion, mild, physical exertion, strenuous, social exclusion, sanctioned violence. Oh, God. But I feel this is important. Subjects SC1A through K were given forms and writing implements and instructed to fill them out to corporate standards. Upon completion, forms were placed into an employer-sanctioned shredding device by a technician. Test was then repeated. Observational notes. Volunteer SC1D Kendall objected to further testing after completion of a second set of forms. Volunteer SC1G after fifth. Volunteer SC1B after tenth. No further objections from remaining volunteers. Subject SC1E Hobbs was discovered to be functional, early, illiterate, and tagged for early advancement to the second phase of compliance testings. Objection from volunteer SC1D. Phase 2. Subjects SC5A through K were given visual demonstrations of multiple physical exercises. Note, thank you, testing assistant layman. Then instructed to replicate them in accordance with verbal instructions. <clears throat> Observational notes. SC5H complained of physical exhaustion after five minutes, missing numerous verbal cues. Subject SC... Am I being tested? Is this what's happening? All this fucking reading? All these numbers failed out at around the 15-minute mark. Test was terminated after 30 minutes as the technician became too hoarse to provide instruction. Fucking relate. Hard relate. <clears throat> Mid-stage testing. Phase 3. Subjects are, <clears throat> Subjects are instructed to follow a closed circuit around the perimeter of the testing chamber for the, du for the duration of the test. At random intervals, technician is to provide vocal... Call Vocal cue to reverse course. Observational notes of the eight test subjects remaining in group SC276 respond to vocal cues. Subject 63D became aggressive and was removed. Subject S. <sighs> Fucking hell. 63B collapsed 30 minutes into the. Is this like numbers? Number, 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 number. Fucking hell. 30 minutes into the experiment and was removed. And I know it's it's in it's in it's it's world building and it's great and it is well written, it's just fucking hell. Less is more sometimes. Ugh. Technician's addendum. Observational data compromised due to equipment failure. Technician Embery S was found incapable of continued operation due to incessant weeping and was withdrawn, flagged for disciplinary measures. Jesus. And it's all good. It's all fucking good world building and fucking gets to it. But fuck me. And also, I feel like if I'm reading it, I'm not. Like, I'm reading it. If I'm reading it out loud, I'm not absorbing it fully. As fully as if I was reading it to myself. And again, this is the first time I've seen any of this, so I can't even, like, summarize it. Mm. And it does kind of hit a point of just, like, I'm just saying the words. I'm not really absorbing them into my brain. 
because my brain is entirely focused in keeping my stutter at bay. Ah, hmm. It's been so long since I've done a live reading of my own work. My own work is easier to do because I tend to rehearse that beforehand so I know how to enunciate certain words and phrases and where the trip up points are and sort of like how to, you know, voice the characters and stuff. This is just the first time I've seen this, so I'm just like blah, 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 blah. Subject 2242 did 45 minutes of 46.47. Ah, that's fucking a lot. Late stage testing, phase four. Subjects are isolated and instructed to select one, one, member of their experiment group for immediate removal from the volunteer program. I wonder what that means. I bet that means death. Subject. See, what is this fucking. Okay, it's alright. I'm not gonna lose it. Subject 63A, volunteers, subject 63F. K. Subject 63B is unresponsive for duration of testing session. Subject 63C deliberates for 5 minutes and 36 seconds before s volunteering subject 63E. And I'm like, I don't have context for any of these people. Although that one, other one chose subject 63F. That's quite funny. Subject 63D wasn't able to recall the names on... I am unable to recall the names and identification numbers of the fellows. But has volunteered each of them in turn. Citing immediate need for additional compound X in 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 injections. Oh, Jesus Christ. Subject 63E volunteers subject 63F. And Begaya begat Sivalina. Sivalina begat... Hosea, Hosea begat Ezekiel, Ezekiel begat fucking hell. Subject 63F refuses to comply with instructions because everyone's deciding that they want to kill them. Subject 63G exhibits extreme confusion. I exhibit extreme confusion, extreme emotional distress. Demands morning injection. Technician's addendum. Time as of previous note is 1400 hours. Subject exhibits extreme aggression. I'm about to exhibit some extreme aggression. Subject terminated. Good lord. Late stage testing. Phase 5. Fucking hell. Let this be the end of it. Fuck me. Subject. It's, it's fucking. It's very squid gamey. I'm getting from this. Like. Just kind of. Like. It's just. Making them turn on each other and stuff. Subject is instructed to fire a shrouded object. One, one, industry standard fashion modeling assistance device. Mannequin. Subject is not informed of nature of tar target. Observational notes. Subject has fired a target. Auditory reward initiated. Test reset. Subject fired at observation window. Automated security enabled. Test reset. Subject fired at subject other. <laughs> then another one fired at another subject. Fired at target. Reward initiated. Subject refused to fire. Subject refused to fire. Subject re re fire. Uh, unresponsive. Okay. So yeah. Harrowing. Terrifying. But I'm also concentrating on reading it, so I'm not absorbing it. So I don't quite know how horrifying it is. Oh, there's more message. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm in a test chamber and this is just a fucking horrible test of some kind. Uh, oh my god, there's so many. Jesus Christ. Oh, I put a bullet in my head now. There's so many. Oh my god. Uh, Alright. <laughs> oh my good god. And this is all important stuff. And we all need to, we need to know it. Oh, I just don't want to read anymore. Ah. Oh my god. <clears throat> In light of certain recent incidents, I'd like to remind you all that it is paramount that we all follow Space's Choice guidelines for regarding safety and security. Yes, you will suffer professional and financial consequences if you are found to be responsible for damaging company property. But here at HIA, inattentiveness and recklessness can also endanger highly limited company resources and threaten our overall production schedule. Think about what we are 
are all here to achieve, then consider whether you want to be the one that lets us all down. Lucky any and all injuries suffered by the volunteers this past week have been minor. All testing will proceed as scheduled. A reminder that all personnel are advised to report to the infirmary if they experience any symptoms listed on the notice. LeBlanc provided earlier this month. It is strongly suggested that you use your allotted break to do this as any lo any any losses to productivity will be reflected in your paycheck and or indentureship agreement. Dr. Marion Sincerely, some wordy windbag jerk. Alright, fuck it, come on, we can do this. Who would have thought, like, I have streamed Bloodborne, I have streamed Dark Souls, I did that primal fight, I, you know, I've been through some heavy shit, I have persevered through a lot of problems in, the, in these streams. I have done so much, like, I have been beaten up, battered, the, my internet has died, I have faced my, the limits of my frustration and just the height of fucking the toughest video game shit I've ever, you could imagine, and the fucking text dumps in this game are pummeling the fucking endurance right out of me it does feel like i'm being fucking tested like and the annoying thing is it's all important stuff and it's all but this is how it's conveying the story it's so fucking tedious i feel like they were doing so well with the environmental storytelling with this like it was so like we got a sense of for, for all of this shit like just from what we've seen already it's been explained to us again in text form and there's just fucking so many messages between these cunts can they not just speak to each other in person and like I don't know it's difficult to hire voice actors for each of these people I get it I do but oh, it's just so fucking much it's the fact that I thought I'd reached the end of it and it's just ingoing and outgoing messages and there's fucking six of them and they're all like two pages long. Fuck. Ugh. Right. Hey, you and Andre talk about Tossball sometimes, right? Have you noticed anything different about him lately? And I'm just speeding through it. Fuck the fuck reading it dramatically. Just get it out. Get it done. Fucking it's a work task at this point. I'm pretty sure he's been at his desk all night. I was going to congratulate him on his newfound productivity, but I took a look at his reports just now, and some of them have very basic formatting errors. It's not like him at all. Maybe you could ask him about it. If something's wrong with his terminal, he should probably get it taken care of sooner than... Angus Rowain. Did we do them all? Fuck off. Did we, Did we do them all? There's messages. Incoming messages. From Marion Blakesley to all personnel, if we're going to meet OCI's figures to see... One of these is fine. Like, this is two paragraphs. It's good. You know, it's quick. If we're going to meet OCI's figures this month, we'll need to double our testing capacity over the next few weeks. To that end, I need everyone in observation to work with disposal to halve the preparation time between tests. Have the volunteers exited at a jog if you have to. Just try not to let them see the bodies. Say, cool. Gets the fucking point across isn't two pages long, crucially. Uh, right, one more. Look, Embry lost his head because he couldn't keep up with the work. He was never going to amount to anything, and we all knew it. He was the one who, like, decided he couldn't do the test, and he left weeping. I feel like leaving weeping. This is... This has broken me. This has fucking destroyed me. Can we... Like, I love... I love the dialogue in this... I love, like... Mm, I think the thoughts in order. I love the conversations in this game. I love the role-playing opportunities. I fucking love... I love the story and stuff. If I was just reading this myself, it'd be great and creepy. And I'm, but it's the fact that I've got to read it out loud. <clears throat> it's just so much of it. You just appreciate how much of this is dumped on you as text. In this interactive medium, you don't need to have this much fucking text. You know... That's fine. I don't know why my reports are any of your business to begin with, but I know how to use a damn computer. 
I bet Weaver put you up to this. I've been working twice as hard as anyone else in this office this past month, and now she thinks I'm going to outpace her. Maybe it's simpler than that. These emails used to be just a nuisance. Now I'm starting to think that maybe your loyalty is to some other couple. That, that, that line, these emails used to be just a nuisance, I appreciate that. Because I feel like this game is design is trying to like bombard you with how bureaucratic this is, with how many messages were getting sent back and forth, emails that could have been meetings, essentially. And everyone felt beat down and battered by it. Like, I get that that's what they're going for. It's just not good stream material, man. It's just not good. Well, I think there's outgoing messages. Two of these. We can get through this. And this just feels like a boss battle. It's just it's just wearing me down. It's so hard. <sighs> hey, Andre. Dr. Blake's leads start to come down here pretty often. Usually for the morning shift. She hasn't said anything. Just watches us go through the tests for a while. And then gets up and walks out. Weaver tried to give her a report, I think. But Blakesley gave her a look. And that was the end of it. You think we're doing something wrong? You tell me if you knew anything, right? I'll split my lunch with you again. Oh, and hey, great game last night, huh? Sincerely, some fucking jerk. To Sandoval V, subject RE Mantisaurs. Yeah, we're going back to the mannequins for phase 5. None of the test subjects felt too torn up about shooting killer bugs from Monarch, I guess. Should make things easy for you over in Disposal, right? The best part is that one of the cages didn't close pro properly last night, and a couple of little mantipillars got loose. Who knows where they are by now? Morley had an absolute fit. I don't like... Um, I don't like he thinks bugs. That's what this is doing to my brain, man. Like, just a peek behind the curtain. I do live readings of my own work and stuff. I read, and at some points I have done readings of other people's work. And like, but I've never had to do it where I've not read the material beforehand, you know? It's the fact that this is the first I'm seeing of this, so I'm reading it out loud. It's not, it's, it's basically going from my eyes to my mouth and not going through my brain. So I'm not taking it in. And... I'm going, my eyes are going like a couple of words ahead, but then my mouth starts to get confused because it's seeing, it's so hard, it fucking turns my brain inside out, I hate it, I really want a better way of fucking getting through this, but there's no other way of doing it, like, I can leave it, I, at the end of like, I think a couple of streams ago, I left it on screen because I was fucking done, I just couldn't anymore, like, I genuinely... It's fucking ruining me. It's just ripping me apart. I can't fucking do it. It's so hard. It's just turning my brain inside out. Is that it? Please, God, say that's it. It has absolutely broken me. It is so hard to get through. See, the environmental storytelling is great. Like, and I guess, and as I said, like, the fucking audio logs are great. Like, they're fine, you know. At that point, I'm, I'm discovering it at the same time as the stream audience is. And we're kind of going through it together. I am not discovering any of this. I'm not taking a great deal of it in, honestly, if I'm reading it out. Like, I get that it's bad that they're doing, like, capitalism, they're testing on people. And it's kind of like, it's taken me out of, it's taken me right out of what it was really good environmental storytelling. was really good environmental storytelling. It's taken me right out of it, because I just, like, had to sit down and read a fucking essay. Like, it was like, that's got to have been a couple of thousand words, a couple of thousand words I've just fucking read out. <clears throat> and I've already fucking destroyed throat. Like, I... Can't I think? Yeah, yeah, I should shut up about it. But it is turning my brain inside out. It's making my voice. It's making my mouth feel weird. Like it's just I can't. I it's so much. <clears throat> it's the fact that you. I opened it up and there's like five, five individual text logs. Each one just a series of numbers and letters, and how those numbers and letters interacted. And I feel like if I was reading it just to myself and not reading it out, I would have like a better understanding of stuff. 
Oh, that really fucking hurt my throat. That did some damage. That was fucking horrible. Give me a minute here. <sighs> and like the more I speak, the more I'm like, I just open that little switch behind my sinuses that just floods my fuck, the fucking back of my throat. It's just fucking, it is so much. All right, deep breath, Felix. You're about to see something real twisted. Honestly? Whatever this is, it's not worse than fucking a whole bunch of fucking fucking audio logs. No, not audio logs. Fucking text logs. Like <clears throat> that absolutely broke me. That was that was hard. That was really difficult. I just fucking need to sit in silence for a bit. Like, I mean, that fucking got me really badly. Uh, I I I am uh, I'm gonna take like a five minute break. I think and just fucking go to the bathroom and think about the mistakes that led me to this point in my life. Really, really broke me. That was really hard. <laughs> I do appreciate the com comedic timing of Felix shushing me as I was in the middle of my rant there, though. That was quite good. Oh, Jesus.
that terminal was my fucking that was my orphan of cars that was a lot it was hard <sighs> it's fine I went to the fridge on the way there and I have some very cold beer <sighs> Will it be enough to get me through? I don't know. I, I, I don't think... I'm not sure if... Let me get my thoughts in order. If that was the if that was the last terminal, I could live with that. But I get the sense there's going to be more. More of them coming. And they're going to have more text and stuff in. And... Uh, that, I'm not even... That's not even... Sometimes I will exaggerate things for comedic effect on this, on this channel. I don't think that was one of them. That was a lot. That was that really did a cycle. That did psychic damage. That was hard. I hope we never have to do that again. Honest to God, that was that was a lot. That was a lot. <sighs> like even like in a tough. I don't know. Even in. I think Resident Evil 7 is my white whale on these streams. That is like, that's one. I am tempted to pick it up again on easy mode just to try and get through it. Because I enjoyed the story on that game a lot, but I could not fucking get through the combat. The combat did my nut in. Um, and the, 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 uh, the, what do you call it? See, I can't even get my own words out now. Is that many people? That much of other people's? Um, and the environmental stuff in Resident Evil Seven. The environmental storytelling was great, but you were encouraged to search, search every nook and cranny for ammo and equipment, but also discouraged from looking in every nook and cranny because stuff was jump scaring you all the time. But not even as many jump scares as because I rewatched those back because I worry when I get when I get frustrated with a game that it comes across as like hard to watch or just me being a whiny fucking dickhead like which probably part of it but um, rewatching the Resident Evil Seven stuff like there's not as many jump scares as I remember there being but there are enough of them that you kind of like I don't want to poke my head in this tiny dark corner because something's going to jump out at me I'm not a fucking fool, I'm not an idiot, I'm not going to do that but that's how you have to get the stuff you need to survive but it felt like with that game I, I could do I, yes, honest to god I will do I will record a fucking video of me just ranting about Resident Evil 7 at one point because there's a lot I had problems with in that game and I have a lot of problems with how people really enjoyed that as a uh, like. I wonder whether we played the same game, honestly. Um, but like the fact that I'm just gonna use my own words for a bit because fucking hell, that I, I saying other people's turn my brain inside out. Uh, using like yeah, the combat in that, the fucking ink monsters that you fought just had so much health. They just soaked up every bullet you had. And there were so many of them in a row. At a certain point, I was just running at them with the knife and tanking hits, but um, using the limited healing items just to scrape through this horrible bullet spongy combat that was just not fun. And then to move to a boss battle with something that is both bullet spongy and dodges around your crosshairs, like. It's just... I hated it. I hate that game so much. Even that was better than that fucking terminal. Even Resident Evil 7 was better than that terminal. That was fucking the worst thing I've done on this stream. Hated every second of it. I want to fucking... Um, I'm gonna keep going though, because I feel like something cool is about to happen. Ah, and we've wasted your time, wasted your time long enough. Appreciate you sticking with me, those of you who did. Because <laughs> another thing as well, before we go into this next bit, I noticed before, earlier on, there was four people watching the stream right when I was doing a big text dumpy read thing. By the end of it, only Kells was left. God bless her for sticking with it, because. No one else 
want to do and fuck fucking too right they shouldn't because that's just me reading stuff out off a screen it's fucking boring but it's also how this game is communicating its story and they're up oh fuck fuck you god damn it i want to see no more i can't take this let's get out of here boss we've seen enough yeah, I feel, I feel yeah. And my headphones are dying as well. So what, 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 what is this? The, the, the thing that we are having a problem with. Um, a oh, test subject was put through this thing. This has wrinkled my brain, man. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Okay, I didn't see the full picture there. Ah, uh, no wonder I hated those. That is a lot. I don't like that. Yeah, one message, I can deal with that. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. I feel you, Victoria Sandoval, I feel you. Let's just do our jobs, okay? All right, my 10 bits are on 52F. Ah. Oh. I just realized what they're doing. I know what you're thinking, he's so skinny. He's got a, that's gotta be bad odds, but I'm a gambling man, Victoria. And I've got an eye for this now. What do you think? William Zarrow. <clears throat> no, I'm not talking about the subjects, Vicky. I'm talking about the numbers. I've been keeping track of how many bodies we process every day and every week. And the number fluctuates, but never too much. One, and three, and two, okay, you're saying a bunch of numbers there. Just look at the chart I left on your desk. You can see for yourself that there's a pattern. You see it, right? Heads down. Shit, okay. That feels like the way, the way out. So they were put through the people cuba. <clears throat> Jesus. Okay, they were put in the people cuba and kind of just thrown up here. Oh, fucking hell. So they were just kind of like put through this and just dumped in there. And that was the end of the testing. Like, yeah, the environmental storytelling alone would have done that. They didn't need the fucking... War and peace ass fucking. That's the way they came in. So here we go. I'm gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna run through it all again, but I don't have time for that shit. Like, that was like. That was the. The environmental storytelling alone, with the voiceover that we've seen already, they could have added some text stuff for flavor, but that was just a pure text dump. On top of what is by itself a fucking well designed bit of environmental horror it's a baffling decision a baffling decision to put that much text in there and it just leads me to think why would you be putting that much down as text i guess they wanted i guess that would, they were the reports and stuff like that could have easily have been done I, I mean, I, I, that could have been cheaper to do. Why not even cheaper? I don't know. You hired the writer to write it. You'd have to hire the voice actor to read it, I guess. But, you know, you've hired the voice actors already. A lot of these are voiced characters. They, you know. It could have just been the voice actress they hired to do Marion Blakesley could have done, recorded a few 30 second long things, you know. Made a bit more money out of it. They had they had her for the day. They could have just thrown in some extra lines that she could have recorded. It wouldn't have taken that long. And would have had the same effect. Would have had more impact than just the fucking... The novelization of the Squid Games, basically, that I just fucking got through. <sighs> right, we're through it, at least. 
God, I hope that I really hope that's it, you know. <laughs> I just saw that other terminal and just saw my fucking my hair just turned grey and I aged a hundred years like that. Uh. Mm. I am like looking forward to when the stuff jumps out at me and I have to like and I get to shoot some stuff again. I need uh, what I need is a good meet a good uh, like a decent combat section and maybe like a like a meaty conversation or something like a good little like because I've not had a conversation this entire fucking stream and that's my favorite part of the outer worlds like having the conversation with people oh my god oh my god no no <laughs> Oh. I was just debating finishing it here because I can't get through this. I can't do this. But I want to get. I want to get to a logical point. I want to get to a logical end point. <sighs> oh God, this is so much. Alright, here we go. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. <clears throat> this isn't about a few volunteers, Molly. Most of test group numbers is already gone. Subject number is non-verbal. We've had some luck using small amounts of the compound to coax him into the testing room. To be honest, some of the staff are starting to worry me too. It's just that... Just, it's not just that ghoul in disposal either. Weaver's convinced that the compound's getting into the ventilation system somehow. I've caught her scrubbing her hands raw at the washing stations. I've tried reciting our safety protocols to her, but it hasn't seemed to help. I'm starting to think she might not be wrong. Fuck. <sighs> <clears throat> Pick out two of the deceased test subjects and whip up condolence letters. Something saccharine and noble, feel free to invent next of kin if there are none on record. Use the cheap paper. Leave the letters on my desk, I'll dispose of them surely. I mean, I'm being less disposed to... Because we met Blakesley at uh, the Groundbreaker, didn't we? And it, she was like, she wanted to forget all this stuff. She wants to move on with her life, and I let her live. I'm beginning to think that wasn't a good decision, because she is horrible. Outgoing messages. It's all personnel. Right, the sacking Angus Rowain. And, yeah. Basically, they sacked someone, they're moving on, and letting everyone else take over. <clears throat> the missing test subject has been found and apprehended. Apparently, got he, got he into the test. That's what I'm doing in my brain, and I'm using so much mental bandwidth switching those words around. It's fucking. Apparently, he got into the testing departments where he remained. I'm afraid nobody noticed for several hours. Hennessy had him doing paperwork. I think it's clear that at this point, subject numbers didn't get out on his own. As far as we can tell, he didn't have much of an escape plan. The door was simply unlocked for a short period of time during the night. In the meantime, I've made it clear to the security forces that no further breaches will be tolerated. Hope you're keeping this up. There'll be a test later. Right, here's the archive messages. Molly, how do I delete this message? How do I rotate PDF? <sighs> Alright, Clarence, the latest results are in. As you hoped, you'll find that the violent cases now amount for a small overall percentage, percentage of the testing pool. I expect that will change in about two or, three weeks, two or three weeks, so you'd better get that report out to Goodfellow in a hurry. In the meantime, closing all of the tests... Dosing... 
yeah, dosing, it's not closing. Dosing all the test subjects means that HIA is now in the business of generating aggressive psychotics. So if you could take two minutes out of your fundamentally pointless existence to somehow make it clear to Mr. Goodfellow that I need an update on those resources I requested, as well as the matter of additional security, increased oversight at chem, or any kind of explanation for what the fuck? We hacked into the hacked into the deleted messages. I'm fucking speaking like a dick, cause my my mouth my my mouth is trying to get smaller and smaller. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just uh, I feel like I feel like it's trying to conserve the energy that I'm using up. <sighs> these are in the ark. These are, these are these are in the deleted messages. So Morley, if you receive any communication from Doctor Ambrose, ignore them. Also, notify me at once, and don't piss yourself worrying. It won't come up on your assessments. Morley, no word from OCI. We'll keep going as we are. Say something to the staff. Break out that list of prepared prepared statements I gave you. I suggest number four, remember to smile. I'm heading down to oversee today's testing personally, make sure I'm not disturbed. Fucking hell. Fuck me. That's a lot. So much reading. It's the annoying thing. Is this is like it's how the game is communicating its story is the thing. Oh god. <laughs> I just realized this is a moral choice thing. I can return to Roscoe and <sighs> Can I listen to those phonographs phonographs again to find out like the whole story here because I heard them in such a frank in such a fragmented way that like I don't know like I can deliver them to the auto mech which wait Georgie was the the one who was accused of being a spy Roscoe was the one who gave us the quest I'm inclined to think Roscoe is the morally correct choice here. Don't throw a moral choice at me now. Our world, for fuck's sake. Did you enjoy the show? I didn't. You should have left Gorgon in its grave where it belongs. Now I'm afraid I have to find a more permanent way to put you down. It's a good thing that This is sick. I can't bear it any longer. Are we being stalked? Is that what's going on? Because I don't mind having secret admirers and all, but this is getting a little creepy. No. Please, God, no. All right. I mean, that's a cool. This is cool. And yeah, it's ah, oh, that's a really good weapon, though. To be fair, um, ditch all this stuff. Cause I've got to go into another fucking reading section in a bit. <clears throat> An N-ray pistol is a good idea. I like, the, I like the idea of all this stuff. I don't. I don't think I've got a chance to fucking um, smith this stuff up before I do what I think is the final boss battle of this whole fucking DLC. It's the thing talking about doing a permanent solution to this problem. Feels like a boss battle is going to come up now. <sighs> wait, wait. Does that explain it? Was I not reading it?
Yeah, returning those to Roscoe seems like the best idea. And sorry again if someone's screaming at the screen going, No! The auto mech is the one who delivers it to the people or something. I... I have been beaten bloody by this fucking game at this point. Oh. Can override the lockdown. Cool, cool. Okay. Messages. Oh, God damn it! Fucking hell! Lord, I miss Bloodborne so much. I fucking miss Bloodborne. <laughs> I miss Dark Souls. I miss Dark Souls 2 so much. Jesus Christ, just so much reading. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Olivia. Fucking settle down with the... the, the, the with the... With the... With the... With the... With the thesaurus. Fucking hell. Fuck me. So much, it's so much. I... I want to just get to the fucking gameplay again. I just want to play a video game, man. Oh, every time I think this is going to be the last one, it has to be the last one. Surely they can't be doing more text dumps. And they just add more and more text dumps. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it. I'm not having fun. <sighs> Fucking hell. Right. Fucking let's go. Let's do it. Treat this like a Bloodborne boss fight and just fucking tank it and I'll take the psychic damage. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking do it. Ah! It's been three weeks. Where the fuck are the reports from HIA? Deliver them to me by the end of the day or deliver me your letter of resignation. I'm done asking. In the future, you will send me bi-weekly reports of HIA status. I'm pausing to fucking drink because we're fucking... It's basically me reading stuff to you now as a stream. We're fucking doing this now. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking do it. I'm ready. Are you? Are you fucking ready, Outer Worlds? Because I'm fucking ready. Let's fucking do it. These reports will include an inventory of test subjects. Which version of the Gorgon compound they have been administered? Said how frequently these fucking word, word, word have been occurred, and who has been wording them. To these reports, you will append a mortality record. The rec this record will include an accounting of the burn down rate of our current stock of volunteers and compound capsules. In addition to a thorough analysis of their injuries, I want to see charts, marry big fucking charts with lots of precise little numbers. And before you ask, bi-weekly means twice a week. Don't pretend you don't know what I mean. Fuck you, Olivia. Fuck you. I'm glad you're dead. Fucking hell. Not only are you a cunt, but you're a fucking wordy cunt as well. Jesus. Marion. Personalize and forward the following note. To the families of the deceased volunteers. Take carbon copies and send these on to Lucian at the usual address. Make sure, make sure, fucking sure, sure, I'm saying that. He gets every single one. Dear name is with regret <clears throat> that I write to inform you of the death of your relation. They died peacefully, attended by their fellows. Please accept our sympathies in this difficult time. Though so I may offer you little comfort, know that your retaliation died in service of a better, more productive Halcyon. In accordance with the agreement signed with Tartarus Corrections, a division of United Defense Logistic, their term of incarceration is now considered re replete. I'm saying the word that my brain thinks it is. I'm fucking done. I'm not even trying to fucking do it properly. Fuck off! 
Four of them! <sighs> Good fellow. Yes, many of the subjects still... HAD increased energy levels and compliance. The same euphoric response, but they inevitably crash. Testing clear clearly suggests that Chem's Compound X has extreme and irreversible effects when administered... Fucking given! Repeatedly over a period of time. Several volunteers in old SCOT... T! It's T now! Why not? Group of early verb... Verly verbal! When they do speak, it's to beg for more of the compound. I'm finding it hard to shine that up for you, Lawrence. So good, you'll beg for more. Don't you dare use that. If you could dilute the compound or even ease out the schedule, we could mitigate some of the addictive effects. We, we, wanting some of the earlier test subjects off the compound might buy us time until Ken refines the formula. I need time, Lawrence. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> I need you to compile some of the test results from the past month. Pull a subset from the reports we forwarded to OCI if you like, so long as there are charts. <clears throat> Make sure the worst of the mortality reports are up front, will you? Fucking hell, so many messages. I hope you're getting this. I'm fucking not. Because I'm reading it. I'm not think. I'm not seeing it. I'm just. It's It's eyes to mouth. It's eyes to mouth. It's not going in my brain. I've gone. I've fucking lost my mind. It's happened. It's finally happened. I'm going slightly mad. <coughs> I'm choking on my own rage here. Uh. <coughs> uh. That like hit a fucking loose flap of skin that all this reading has done to my throat. And just lingered in my fucking throat and nearly drowned me. And all I could think was, God, if I drowned to death on stream, then I wouldn't have to read anymore. And you're relieved that you're drowning to death on stream rather than reading more of this fucking text dump stuff? What have they done to us? What did they do to us? What is this world? What did they do to us? Ugh. I read this one, right? Did I read this one? No, I didn't. <sighs> At the behest of the Office of Them, we are applying varying amounts of unknown solutions to test subjects that are already mid-treatment. What organizational schema do you imagine miraculously mm, restore scientific rigor to the process, stick to the current system? What did they do to us? Lucian, I'm leaving this message to inform you of my resignation from the position of testing supervisor at Spaces Choice Pharmaceuticals, effective immediately. I won't be returning to headquarters, and I wouldn't bother chasing a tracking signal unless you want to give the boys and girls in human resources some fucking exercise. I supplanted the fucking into that. I warn you once, do not try and find me. Are we done? Are we done? I always knew this colony was twisted. This is, better. Stories this is better. This is better. Seen my share of gruesome too, but nothing prepared me for this. I'm gonna say if there's an option here for, I'm not looking at the options, but if there's an option here for, um, uh, and they're wordy cunts too, or like they're wordy, or like they they got a lot of stuff to say, or there's a lot of voice logs or something. All is forgiven, outer worlds. Is that an option? Yeah, what they did what they did here was inexcusable. All this cruelty done to regular working folks without even a shred of regret. And what's dogging me is why? You want to know the worst part? Spacer's choice knew exactly what Adrena Time did. And they didn't care. They weren't even thinking about the victims. Hmm. I can't believe you've done this. Somehow, this doesn't surprise me. Every time I think I've seen the worst thing Spacer's Choice could ever do, they find a way to surprise me. Maybe Miss Ambrose can help fix things once she's cleared her family name. She could hold the board's feet to the fire. Make them pay. Uh, it is so good to let someone else speak for a change. Jesus. Ugh. I really hope that's the last of it. And I said that for the past three fucking terminals. 
I just want to get this. <clears throat> and it is kind of bludgeoning you with how horrible it is. I get that. I get that was the gist of all that stuff. It could have been a single fucking audio log though. For all that. She'd better be paying a lot. Let's go. <sighs> you know, I think that might be the end of the audio. I keep calling them audio logs now. The end of the text numbers. I do apologize for how <laughs> intense that may have been. That was horrific. That was horrible. Like, it's like... And all this is doing is just further cementing how frustrated I am with it. Like... It's an interactive medium, right? The whole point is, it's... You know, you're meant to discover this stuff on your own. Like, once again, comparing it to Bloodborne. Bloodborne very much has these moments... Has this literal exact situation in the clock tower how did they tell that story through the level design through the monsters you fight through the fucking stuff that through the st stuff you find and the conversations you have with npcs you discover it organically it's interactive to a point that you like you know you deal you're fighting the monsters you're going through you're seeing stuff on the walls like you, you're basically experiencing it by the time you get to Maria you know that shit was done to these people and someone has to pay for it that was like the but then also you learn that that was her reaction and again this isn't told through a fucking text dump this is not told through like 2000 words of fucking script it is done through the gameplay, it's done through the level design. <sighs> and I do enjoy the Fallout stuff where you read, like, uh, the fu like the fucked up stuff that was happening before the war and, like, very similar to that. But when it's done... But that's done... When it's done sparingly. Like, when it's done, like, you read the occasional little terminal and you get, like, a little funny email going back and forth. The bulk of the story should not be done through fucking text blogs describing the stuff that was happening. And I cannot believe I'm turning against the game at this late stage. Like, it did the, the main game didn't seem to have this problem. The main game was, even when you were investigating stuff that had happened before, it didn't seem like you were doing it through the medium of, like, like, the interactions you had with the NPCs and stuff. You were doing, you were discovering the world as you were doing it, like... This just feels like they wrote a script for stuff and they got the gameplay around it. Honestly, like, as well designed as these levels are, they stand by themselves. I do not understand why there's so much text in this. This genuinely turned me off the game, like... But the thing is, the gameplay itself is fun. The... NPC interactions are fun. The role-playing stuff is fun. This is the stuff that we're here for. Sitting down to read someone's fucking first draft manuscript. I could honestly be doing that in my own time. I could be doing that with my own writing, honestly. You know, I could literally open the stream, put something on in the background, and fucking read my own writing and get a better result out of it. This is being me down. This is fucking horrible. Hopefully something horrible, something, you know, good will happen. Something fun will happen now. To make it worth it. All I want to do right now is burn this place to the ground. Yep. I'm going to have nightmares for weeks. I'm going to be seeing text dumps for weeks, man. Right here with you. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking do it. No. I 
Well, this might be the last one, so let's power through. I hate, I hate that this has become the reading stream. I hate it. Genuinely hate it. This has been the roughest stream I've ever done. Including some of the ones where the internet was dying. It's just the fact that I'm conscious that it's dead air. It's, I'm conscious of the fact that I'm not enjoying it. It's so fucking much of it. There is a better way of doing this. There's absolutely a better way of doing this, man. I think because when I'm reading this stuff to myself, I'm reading it to myself and I'm taking it in. When I'm reading it out, I'm noticing just how much of it there is. I don't think I'd have been this frustrated with it if I was just playing it for myself the first time. Honestly. I think I'd like... I think I'd just be... I'd be more engaged with the story, but it's the fact that I have to read it out to make it uh, because this is a this is an auditory medium if it's just text on the screen it's not interesting you've got to add something to it it's just a lot it's a lot I feel like compared to the bosses in Bloodborne like if I get to the end of the text dumps I'll have the same measure of relief that I got from beating some of those bosses, man. It's fucking unbelievable. Alright, the Human Auditing and Inquiry Facility is a dedicated research facility and houses a considerable quantity of hazardous materials, machinery, and personnel. As such, no external visitors are to be permitted at any time, absent express written permission from HIA testing supervisor Dr. Marion Blakesley. If you suspect that a visitor does not have the appropriate credentials, why not? Please observe the following procedures. Number one, stay calm. Number two, notify nearby security personnel of your suspicions. Wait for security personnel and or equipment to finish disposing of the visitor. Complete an incident report per official guidelines. Remember to use spaces, choice, approved, formatting and language. At no point should you leave your workstation unattended. Leaving your workstation unattended will be considered a severe security breach. And may result in a fine and or termination of your employment with space of choice. Your supervisor has posted the following addendums. Right, that's the official shit. If we do get visitors, inform me at once. If they're from other departments, if it's Dr. Ambrose, don't get in her way, but log her every move. If it's Clarence mostly, keep him at reception mostly. I'll come down in person to see this log given miracle for myself. If Jasper Lowe or anyone else from Chem turns up, let them stew at reception. I'll send assistant Mar Marley down eventually. Okay. So Clarence mostly was running this, wasn't he? I'm so I'm so fucking turned around by all the reading. I've forgotten who everyone is. Jasper Lowe was the guy who ran Chemical. Marion Blakesley is the one that we know we met her. Um, Dr. Ambrose is the one whose journal we're trying to find. Clarence mostly, I guess. I guess he runs things. I don't know what he did. I don't know, man. No. No. So it's only one message, it's fine. HIA is on lockdown until further notice. Do not let anyone into the facility until the escaped volunteers are located. I'm gonna check volunteer induction for any sign of our fugitives. If you receive any keycard access notifications in the next twenty minutes, ignore them. <sighs> okay, so a bunch of things escaped. There's a saboteur sabotager. So where we're going? We're getting there. We're getting there. I feel like this is the end of the DLC, though. It's a fucking shame that instead of a boss fight, they gave us six fucking terminals with... I'd love to know the overall word count of stuff that I just went through. That's got to be a few thousand. That's got to be. I was just looking forward to playing with my acid gun. <laughs> you know, I was looking forward to that part of it. 
Like, the occasional thing read off a terminal is an interesting change of pace. It's an interesting... What? What? I thought we were going straight to the... Th okay. Okay. Hang on, have we been here before? Yeah, we've been here. This is Birdie's office. We we were here before. Hold on. Were we here before? Yeah, we've read. I read. I've definitely read this one before because that's the one we's like. We, do we have to keep saying this marvelous mustache of what's his nuts? Jesus fucking Christ! Like that was like by itself. That was a good level. That was an enjoy. That was a good bit of environmental storytelling. Some great little creepy horror. I got a lot out of that. And then it was just terminal with fucking twenty messages on it. I just oh, the fucking got me. That got me really bad. Right, what are we doing with these phonographs? We can return it to. Who mm. oh, you return it to? Georgie asked Roscoe to deliver the portable phonographs to a personal automatic near Stella Freighting. Shall we just return them to Roscoe? Because I feel like that's the best option here. And I feel like a conversation with somebody is gonna maybe fucking defibrillate me back into the game. Because I love the conversations. I love the role-playing stuff. I love the writing in the game, even though there was a lot of it there. Like... And again, I feel like a huge part of this is because I'm streaming it. And my own insecurities kind of get the better of me. And like, it is. Like, that is all effective storytelling. It's just like the occasional the occasional terminal with one or two little bits of text on is a good change of pace. It it varies the pace. But that was just a, that was a gauntlet of fucking huge text dumps that by the end I wasn't even fucking reading. I was just churning them out. And part of me thinks that may have been the point of it. Like it was maybe trying to get across how annoyingly bureaucratic this entire thing was. But we get it. Like we fucking get it by the end of the... By the end of literally the first fucking text dump we got it. You didn't have to keep going like that. This is a Stephen King ending ass motherfucking bit of DLC. Lord, my kingdom for some gameplay. Right, Roscoe, you can go home. I've got your shit. Hey, there you are. Been wondering how you were doing. Did you manage to find those recordings? Can I ask you something? Sure, I'm an open book. <laughs> okay. Some, uh, let someone else speak for a bit, honestly. What was Gorgon like in its heyday? Phonetic, chaotic, vicious. Take your pick. I wasn't here at the start, but going off what folks told me about the early days, Gorgon started out with promise. The board's best and brightest were excited to work here. Said it was a good posting. The project director had a vision and big, bold ideas. <laughs> and then... Their best and brightest show, but a lot of people killed. As long as the board gets their bits, that's just the cost of doing business. Yeah, that's just the reality the of the capitalism. coming out of the corporate office were unrealistic from the get-go. And they were trying to do the project on a shoestring budget. Couple that with the obvious personnel problems and toxic junk in the product, it was only a matter of time before it all went to hell. Was that when the Marauders appeared? Could have been, yeah. Mm -hmm. Marauders didn't just fall out of the sky one day. They were made here on Gorgon. How, though? That's the question. Adrena time. Bradshack legend has it they crawled out of the mines one day. 
Heard one fellow suggest they might even be aliens. Aliens. What do you think? I think Halcyon wants us dead. Look at Monarch. The planet's pure poison. Mm. Folks can't eat the food that grows on Terra 2 without getting sick. Who's to say it's not something in the dirt or the water? I don't have proof, mind. Hmm. It's just a hunch. It's just mismanagement from the get go, isn't it? You must have talked to a lot of the staff here. What were they working on? Adrena time. I'm sure you know it. it. Was a drug, something to make folks work harder, work smarter. Had a lot of nasty side effects. Didn't seem so bad to me at the time, but then I hadn't met the test subjects yet. Hmm. The whole thing was real hush hush. A lot of worry about corporate spies, especially from anti Cleos. I probably shouldn't even be mentioning it to you, to be honest. Spacer's choice? They're really not fond of spies. What do you know about the senior researchers? Not much, <clears throat> except that there was a whole gaggle of them, and so far as I could tell, they absolutely hated each other. Dr. Ambrose would hardly let me speak to any of them, but she complained about them all the time. What she complain about? Everything seemed like. Marion Blakesley, for example, lady who ran HIA, wouldn't return any of her messages. Mm. Not once, for years. Jasper Lowe, guy who headed up chem, was high more and he was sober. He insisted on running special tests on primals, too. Law knows what for. I just remembered Jasper Lowe was fucking off his tits on chemicals, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fucking hell. Like I, I should have, I should have remembered that. It was quite important. Anyone else? Doctor Ambrose really had it out for this guy, Lawrence Goodfellow, ran OCI, would lose his shit if he saw red on a schedule. By the end, I heard folks were turning in completely bunk progress reports <laughs> just to keep him out of their hair. Had this little minion too, an actuary named Clarence Mostly, obsessed with quantifying every detail of his sad little life. Mostly was the guy who got me mixed up in all this. Asshole. I hope a primal ate him. Mostly. Yeah, that's who mostly was. He was just kind of an like insurance adjuster, basically. Um, there was tension between the researchers. Oh, yeah. It wasn't just that Dr. Ambrose hated them. They seemed to hate each other, too. OCI pushed a ludicrous schedule. <laughs> Chem made a bad product. And HIA returned garbage results. A regular merry-go-round of shit flying in every direction. It's no surprise it all fell apart. And they couldn't stop sending emails to each other. Mister, but it's even worse than you say. We've been to the Gorgon facilities. What Spacer's Choice did here is so much worse than you could possibly imagine. Huh. My editor said my prose was too purple. Hmm. And here I could have gone vermilion. So fuck it, it's... <sighs> I'm just thinking like I just I'm just thinking of different ways they could have done it, and I'm thinking like I get it, I get that it's cheaper to just write something and have it on a screen. It also feels like the equivalent of tell don't show, you know, the exact opposite of what you should be doing. Like it's telling me this shit happened, you know. Whereas here, this conversation with Roscoe, I'm getting a lot more out of it, and it's more interactive. It's like it's. I'm not having to read it out myself, so I'm absorbing it, I'm understanding it. <sighs> you know, I, 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 yeah. And, you know, if it was something like, you know... I'm just thinking, at some point, I did want to play Final Fantasy VII, the original, on here. And that is all text, and, like, I am... Not gonna read the entire goddamn thing out. I'm gonna assume you have eyes and go through that through that yourself, as I should should fucking do for this. Honestly, like I just feel like to just sit sit here in silence while we all read something together is worse than me reading it out. At least me reading it out, it's something that I'm doing that you couldn't do yourself. You know, you couldn't lose your mind over this as effectively as I could. I'd like to see someone else fucking. We'll lose some IQ points on that. What's the deal with Lucky Montoya? Nice enough guy. Fashioned himself one of those professional gumshoes, like in the serials. 
They usually work for the board, rooting out dissidents and the like. Lucky, though, he was freelance. Worked for anyone who paid, no matter their allegiance. You ask me, I think the guy just likes snooping around in folks' terminal now. I hated that part of it. <laughs> that part of the job sucks. How have I not done all this dialogue before? Like, this feels important. This feels like I should have had this conversation with Roscoe already. Lex sent me his arm in the mail. Did she tell you that? No, but I'd wager Lex there's a lot of weird shit she doesn't tell anyone about. That's the sublight way. Gotta say, though, mailing a stranger some dead guy's arm probably tops the list. At least I'd hope so. So Space's Choice won't let you leave Gorgon until you deliver the recordings. Oh, I've tried. Make no mistake. <laughs> I've caught a couple of rides out with sublight folks. But the board's fixers always send me right back. And I'm not about to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with marauders just to fulfill a line item on a contract. Gorgon's a ruin now. What sent it over the edge? Any number of things. Fire, primal, sabotage. It didn't happen all at once, but it happened fast enough folks couldn't respond in time. Now, if you're asking how it all kicked off, it might have been spies that did it. Corporate espionage, you know. Anti-Cleos. I never did figure it out. I'm not about to try now. Never mind. Uh, problem. <clears throat> Anything else? I'm just thinking. Should I go and... Hmm. I want the whole story. I, I think Roscoe's on the level. I don't think he's up to anything bad here. Of course, I won't be going anywhere. Yeah, I've done that already. Um, <clears throat> I want to at least see the other option. You know, I'm gonna save here. Like, if I get fucking walked into a fucking uh, like, there was that fucking quest in the um, uh, Halcyon Helen DLC. I forget the name of it. Um, the the other DLC, basically, um, <clears throat> the one that was great and. Aside from a few fucking shitty moments of, like, getting walked into problems, there's less of the reading, to be honest. So when I say walked into problems, what I mean is there was that bit where, because I wasn't sneaky enough, I had a character being like, oh, you don't care about people's lives, you just kill your way through things. I respect that. And it's like, no, I'm trying not to. They attacked me. It was, you know, me or them. And that felt kind of railroady. Uh, and there was a few other things like that in that DLC. But other than that, there's a bit at the end where you're trying, you're basically trying to pick the who the murderer was, and the option I couldn't do the option I wanted because I basically figured out the mystery and I couldn't. I'd figured out the mystery before my character had, and I was just frustrated that uh, I had to go through a few more extra things before I uh, saw that my. Uh, I wasn't rewarded for figuring it out, basically. And I kind of wanted to at least have the option to... Um, but also, I don't think I found all the clues. I think there was a few things I didn't actually do. But this one... <clears throat> as much as I love the level design... And... The high-level combat that we're doing is... It's good. I like it a lot. They fucking could have... They had options. They had options. They had so many options and better things to do than just... Dumping it. You know? Just fucking text dumping stuff. It's just... They must have known that that was a bad idea, right? Like... It's not even a case of, like, it just being because it's on a stream. Like, that's just bad. Like, that's just... If your video game, in order to explain, like, in order to tell the story of, of your video game, you've got to read what had to be a few thousand words worth of fucking text back and forth between people. Fucking rethink that shit. That's... Not fucking good. 
No matter which way you slice it, that is not good. Right. This unit is currently in wait cycle. We did speak to him before, didn't we? Later. We can kick it. Have a bet. Well, I didn't know it was just returning it to that fucking... There are people who've played this DLC who are possibly screaming at me right now that I could be fucking... There's options with the, with the mech that I could be doing. I... Mm. No, what I'm doing? I'm trying to sell stuff. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna go back and kick the mech. Because maybe this unlocks the secret golden ending. Where you can, you know, save everybody. I don't know. This unit, please. See what happens. Error. Kick. Tilt alarm engage. Entering oh, my tilt alarm was engaged a long time ago, kitten. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Have a better than natural day. Hmm. What am I doing with this? Uh... Hmm. Because we've definitely spoken to him, but I have all the phonographs now. Oh well. This kind of makes me feel annoyed that I may have missed something, this though. Unit is pleased. I was hoping to at least have a dialogue with the other side of this one. You know? Have a chat with the... I think the entire uh -oh. DLC has come off the rails there. You know? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's. I think it's. Uh, the outer worlds may have overplayed its hand here. Cause I was thinking maybe they had a reason for wanting the phonographs. Maybe there was something else I could be doing here. Maybe there would maybe there is some moral complexity to this moral choice, but no, it's just it's a robot that won't accept the stuff I've got. Or a guy who will. And the guy seems genuine and he just wants to get off the planet. Fucking it's, a, it's not a moral choice, it's brainless. But this makes me think that I've fucking missed something. While well, I was busy just wading through the fucking quicksand of fucking terminal entries. I could have been fucking doing something else. I could have been exploring a bit more. I mean, to be fair, after a while, exploration gets a bit like that. If you're going round in circles. Because this... Yeah, I... I this... I gotta be honest with you. Main game, Outer Worlds is great. Um, the Terror on Eridana stuff is fucking phenomenal. Fantastic DLC. Loved most of it. This has been the mixed bag. I gotta be honest with you. It's not been the best. Did you manage to find those recordings? It started out so promising. It really did. I really got into it. I really tried. And I enjoyed a lot. There's a lot of this I enjoyed. I love that it's a lot, a, a huge area to explore. And it's. But also, that has its own pitfalls. Like. It's kind of what puts me off Elden Ring. Because I've not played Elden Ring yet. And I feel like. That's going to be a bit like this where you get given a large area to play with and um but that's going to be combined with like bloodborne dog dark souls to combat and as much as i like that i'm a bit wary of it like being combined with this huge open world where you can miss stuff like this and especially the fact that uh you can't you lose quest markers and stuff apparently 
And I'm like, yeah, it seems great, it seems amazing, but uh, there's a good chance it may just be the two worst parts of some of my favorite games combined. Anyway, let's just fucking... We're going all in on this option. I think it's the best one. I don't know why it gave me the option of giving it to that robot that won't accept anything, but here we go. Well, I'll be damned. Now I can finally get off this rock and go home. I know it's not much, but take the last of my bits. <clears throat> You've earned every single one, friend. There you go, we can do the did you know I can do I can ask for more money, but fuck that. Um did you know Georgie was interviewing Olivia Ambrose on her own? She couldn't have been. We were together all the time. Except oh shit. My weekly calls with headquarters. What could she even want to ask Olivia Ambrose about? Doesn't make sense. Production details, ratios and measurements, ingredients, that kind of thing. Good fucking law. Headquarters would kill me if they knew. Right after they killed her. Hell. Being stuck here might have been the only thing keeping me alive. I don't have any more details. Listen, I appreciate you telling me what happened with those recordings, but... I need some time to think. Got a lot to process. I feel like I missed something here. That 100% felt like there was more dialogue options I could have had there if I'd have found... If I'd have put more time into exploring... Uh, Mm. Ah, you do that, buddy. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. See you around. Yeah, well, I one hundred percent. I kind of knew that I'd fuck that up somehow. <laughs> yeah, I kind of knew I'd fuck that up because <clears throat> I just kicked the auto mech. I couldn't actually do anything with it. Fuck. Yeah, I do feel like this has gone off the rails a lot compared to the regular game. Because <laughs> it, it feels like... Because even in the case of Monarch, which is very much like this, where you've got... We're exploring every option... Um, exploring every option gives you the option to do this. Get the two factions together. And that felt really satisfying, making taking the time to explore... This, mm, it's a lot more confusingly laid out than Monarch is. It's harder to explore. So in that sense, you're going to miss more of it, you know? Because as, as we discovered, there were like three levels to this area. So it's a big open area, but there are like three floors to it. And to get onto one, you've often have to cross the map to get to the elevator to get you up to the next bit, and then cross the map again. And fast travel locations are kind of iffy. And it just feels more of a slog to explore this this DLC in particular. <clears throat> and I don't know if it's just all that reading made me look upon it unfavorably, but... Yeah, this definitely feels like the weakest part of the Outer Worlds. Let me fast travel to it, you fucking motherfucker. You mug, you. Come on. Stop it. Right, hold on. Get the fucking thing out the way, and then... Play spot the difference with this fucking... It was here, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah, this is the weakest part of the Outer Worlds. Like, the main game, good. The Murderer and Eridana stuff, great. I would say. I really enjoyed that. This has a lot of promise that they squander. And I don't know if it's because it's the high level stuff and. and I fucked the character up completely. This looks like the SMC. To you, boss. Let's move quick and stick together. Ain't no one dying on my watch. Oh, there still might be. Anyway. 
Good God. Good fucking God. <laughs> like, yeah. I feel like the exploration is not as much fun in this environment. Because it's harder to navigate. Let's go through my thoughts on it. That exploration thing. Because, like, there are three levels to this. Like, there's, like... I think we're on the middle level. There's the upstairs bit, and then there's more down here. Which is fine. You know, it's just hard to navigate between those three. Fast travel doesn't get you as far as it might do. There's a lot of high-level enemies bet lurking around between stuff, making it a bit of a slog to explore. It disincents... It dis... Oh, fuck off. I was in the middle of something here, you fuck. Fine. The pipes are broken! in the middle of explaining my thoughts when they couldn't see me. I forgot what those thoughts are now. We have three levels of exploration. Tough enemies in between it. Tedious fucking taxiing back and forth to get there. To get between the levels. Makes it a hot... Disincentivizes your exploration. Meaning you miss stuff. Meaning you get to this point where you do a quest and you feel like you've missed a huge chunk of it. And it's frustrating to leave stuff undone. But... Choice do we fucking have? Okay, we got a wall of swords. I kind of feel like... I would like to visit a... Uh... I would like to visit a fucking workbench, if at all possible. Where's the nearest workbench to me? There's one here. I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm fucking just doing admin again, but fucking hell, I wanna... I got a... I punch... I, I got a bunch of new items that were handed to me. They are weaker than I would like. Maybe they might be fun to play with. I don't know. I would like to explore them. <clears throat> There's a part of me that like, cause I'm getting, I'm getting back into it now. I've said my piece on it. Um, There's a part of me that's getting back into it. Like, I really want to play with these weapons some more. <laughs> right, where's the thing? Any time now. Uh, right, up here. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, shit! Ah! Jesus! Okay. Everyone, all right? Yep. We're great, Felix. I feel fantastic. Never ever felt the way I do right now. I, 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 the song I was just singing, um, see that? Would have been good to find out what was in there. Um, the song I was just singing that Jonathan Coulter, I Feel Fantastic. I, as some of you may know, I run a monthly karaoke event. The next one's going to be on the 29th, I think. Um, 
I attempted to sing that. Fuck is that a hard song to sing in karaoke. You wouldn't think it would be, but... It's one of them, like, deceptively quick songs, like... I mean, I can, as I discovered, do the occasional hip-hop song. Like, I have done Watsky. I mean, like, I mean, I've performed... I've done a karaoke version of a Watsky song. <clears throat> which is very hard to do. It's very hard to rap along with the, a Guinness award-winning rapper. Like, the fastest rap and longest rap. <laughs> but I've done it. But those fucking audio... Uh, the audio logs? What do you call them? Those fucking text logs ripped me apart and spat me back out again. In comparison. Right, where's this fucking workbench then, eh? Here it is, right. No, it isn't. It looks like one. It just isn't. There it is. Wall of so See this one? Uh, Tinker. Um, see, fucking hell, yeah. Absolutely gonna get... <clears throat> this up to a high level. Also, Wall of Swords is... Also, fucking doing dog shit damage. Is this just because of the damage over time thing making... Break that down. Down, break the walls down. Break down the walls. I don't know why I'm just singing Chris Jericho's theme music from the 90s. I genuinely don't know what's happened to my brain. It's gone. It died. It ceased to be. See, we have some N-Ray options now. I like that these exist and are here to play with. Let's test them out in a live fire environment, which is here. See, I think I started this thought a little while ago, but never finished it. I do that a lot on streams. I hate it. <laughs> like, I watch, I watch most of these back, and I go through stuff. And sometimes I'll be like, listening to what I'm saying. I'm off tangent again. What I was trying to say, but fuck it. Um, um, I do that. I go on tangents after I start to start a thought off, and I go on another tangent. Forget the one I started. Made it this far. How bad could it be? And it's frustrating to see again. They sp they talked over me. I forgot what I was gonna say. So I've got two. That's why I had two fucking uh, thoughts that I never finished. That completely. And it, that's like sometimes I'll go through like my like um, I'll listen to it back, and I'll be like I'll start saying in my head. You missed a joke here. You could be saying this is a joke, and then a second later, I'll say that joke I'm thinking of. Like, yeah, it's great. This feels like that's like <clears throat> the moment when you're editing one of your own stories, and you were like, "God, why aren't I mentioning the this like this thing that this character does?" And then like I'll rewrite a paragraph to add that in, and then a paragraph later, I'll discover I've already put it in, <laughs> like. <laughs> It's like you overthink stuff, but like sometimes it's like, yeah, just say that joke, say the joke. You've left a joke on the table, Matt, what are you doing? Say the joke, and then I'll say it, and it's like, yay. Other times, I will just start a sentence and get distracted by something in the game and never finish that thought off, and I'll just put my fist in my mouth, bite down real hard and scream, because I'd like, ah, oh, that's a good thought, why? And then there's no organic way of getting that thought into anything ever again. I feel like I just missed two of them then. Mm. Something about the N-Ray stuff. Hang on, sealed. Oh, God. Dun, dun, dun. 
Uh, this is the big stuff. I really hope they do it organically without the fucking... T if the instant I see, like, incoming messages, outgoing messages again, I am fucking done. I'm going to call a stream there. I cannot with another one. I am done. My brain feels like it's been fucking pummeled into the fucking dirt. It is done. Hmm. Okay. Maybe not then. Oh, maybe this is why Sam's meant to... They Everyone says bring Sam along. There's Pam now. Maybe they'd have some dialogue together. We'll never fucking know. I'm not going back for him. Welcome to the Adrena Time Synthesis and Manufacturing Center. Brought to you by Spacer's Choice. This productivity auto mechanical unit is at your disposal. Its normal duties involve the management of legacy operations analytics. However, due to the promotion, demotion, death, or injury to other managers of this facility, this unit is now the acting manager of the following departments. Reception, human resources, accounting, technical support, manufacturing, sandwich repair, distribution, security. Commie bastard. Questions about those departments to Pam. Answers not guaranteed. Okay, so that reference I just did was college university. And... That's one of those, like, flash animations that formed a core part of my humour. Then going back to it, it's not as good as I remember it. But there's one bit where... I'm going to tell fucking this story now. Fuck it. Um, this is, like, they're watching an old, like, um, college orientation film from, like, the 50s. And it's, like, going through all the, jo all the wonderful majors you can have at the university. Including history, philosophy... Sandwich repair, commie bastard. That's so fucking good. Every time I see a list like that, I just want to add commie bastard at the end, and nobody gets it. And like, um, you're either accused of being a right wing person, or you're accused of being a left. -wing. I'll take the accusation of being a left wing person because that's an accurate response and that's a thing we can have a laugh about. When you're accused of being right wing for that joke, like it's the explanation takes so long. Uh, anyway, you're the only one here. That means oh, okay. That's the that's the uh, guncock. That'll make this easy. No, it's legacy operations analytics. Never heard of it. According to this facility's records, the legacy operations analytics department is located on sublevel floor one. Its functions include warm bodies and redacted. Access to that department is currently denied due to a lockdown in the sublevel stairwell. Fucking one in the morning. I just realised how, how late it actually is, Jesus. Uh, so it only existed to meet some minimum personnel requirements. We value each and every member of the Spacer's Choice family. So be proud. On average, you contribute positively to a minimum of 1.44 important spreadsheets per quarter. That was one of Pam's patented pep talks designed to efficiently eliminate any negative feelings that are getting in the way of your work. After all... Pam's purpose is to answer one question. How can I increase your productivity today? You know, I'm going to call it here because I didn't realize how late it was. I am going to... So we've, we've mostly just read stuff this time around. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm kind of glad this is coming to an end because I feel like it's... It's tantalizingly close, though, isn't it? But I feel like this is going to be a dungeon crawl. It's quite late. I need to pee. Um. God. All right. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pee. And I'm gonna come back. Um. I'm gonna ask Blue Sky this one. Um. 
<sighs> okay, I'm gonna send this out to. Okay, I'm at what might be the end of the DLC. And. And the end of the Outer Worlds. But it looks like a dungeon crawl. Crawl, potentially a lengthy one. Run, and it's already 1am. What do? Should I just keep going? Going. I want to see how this ends. Should I end it here? Alright, Pavati, settle down. Should I end it here? Um, and then risk next week's stream being a minute long. That is two characters over. I'm going to change OK to K. No, that's still too many words. And I'm just going to leave it. I'm at the end. This is what, here's what's going on on Blue Sky. I'm at what might be the end of the DLC and the end of the Outer Worlds. But it looks like a dungeon crawl. Potentially a lengthy one. And it's already 1am. What do... Should I just keep going? I want to see how this ends. Should I end it here? And then risk next week's stream being a minute long. Do you see that, Writers of the Outer Worlds? How fucking succinct that was. Point made. Bit of humour in it. Boom. Done. Inside of the word limit. That's how you do it. I'm a professional writer. F fucking hire me. God damn it. I'm going to hit the button to post it. And then we'll see. And then by the time I come back, maybe someone on Blue Sky will have said to keep going. We believe in you. Or just end it and eat something. Because your brain's gone stupid. Whichever way. I'm going to pee now. We ready to get moving?
Yeah, I came to a decision. I'm gonna keep going. Fuck it. This game's goddamn tax dumps do not get to be the boss of me. God damn it. I'm gonna keep going. But as I said, the instant I see a fucking uh I see a fucking terminal with incoming messages, outgoing messages on it again. I'm going to retreat and retract that. But I'm going to engage the game in good faith and hope it meets me halfway. And I'm going to type in on blue sky. Fuck it. Fuck it. I want to see how this ends. Text dumps be damned. And let's go. The pipes are broken. Okay, so the, 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 the pipes are broken thing. I, I've i explained this, I think, at one point. Because I, I say this a lot. It's a fucking obscure... Even for a, ref, even for a reference that I make, is quite an obscure Homestar Runner reference. <clears throat> it is the... Um, the danger esque episode where they're like Hello there, employee. Yeah. How Great work on you? assigned task. Um it's like the bit where it's like a battle cry that Homestar yells in the middle of like attacking a thing like as part of the movie they're making. It's meant to sound like the uh spin kick noise that either Ken or Ryu makes when they do the spin kick. But it's just Homestar's interpretation of it is the pipes are broken. And that's become a battle cry when you're about to fucking jump into something stupid. Anyway, Pam, what's with all the bodies? I've only just noticed the Joker makeup that you're wearing. You look terrifying. Did you know that keeping your workers alive boosts productivity? That's why every Pam unit comes equipped with the latest Spacer's Choice weaponry. When PAM's emergency combat protocols are activated, your investments are sure to be protected. Warning. Due to power consumption, combat protocols cannot be activated when PAM's power is below 73% without deactivating managerial processes. Spacer's Choice Policy dictates that managerial processes <laughs> take priority. This unit's power rating is 57%. Yeah, I don't want to fight you, Pam. How can I recharge you? Messing with tangled cables or confusing batteries? With Pam, you'll never have to. Just pop in a Firefly brand industrial strength battery, and Pam's ready to go. Out of batteries and need productivity now? No problem. Just hook Pam's power source up to another auto mechanical, and Pam will get your employees back in line in no time. I feel like this is where Sam comes into it. Can you write the behavior? It's fully customizable to fit your preferred management style. With the correct override codes, you can alter any of Pam's behaviors at will. Some limitations apply. Spacer's Choice does not accept legal responsibility for any injuries or trauma sustained after altering Pam's behaviors. See manual for details. Nah. How can I increase your productivity Let's not fight today? you, Pam. I don't want to do that. Um, so you're a productivity auto mechanical. Helps each and every member of the Spacer's Choice family be the best they can be. When you're managed by Pam, your workday gets unjammed. Ha! That rhymes, and you know it rhymes. Manage, you're actually in charge I of think people. Pam is your boss. I'm just your pal. <laughs> Here to make sure that every member We're of the We're all Spacer's a family. family stays on task and on schedule. With Pam at the helm. You'll never be overwhelmed. Oh, I'm always overwhelmed. How do you keep people more Feeling productive? Down, Pam is loaded with over a thousand encouraging messages, each designed to make you feel like an important member of the Spacer's Choice family. Schedule slipping? Not to worry. Pam tracks all of your deadlines and has the tools to whip your efficiency back into shape. You'll be a team player in no time, thanks to Pam. I'd never let some rust bucket... Boss me around. Hell yeah! Fuck you, AI! Uh-oh. Has dissident propaganda corrupted your workforce? Not a problem. Pam comes equipped with a military-grade N-ray cannon and a coat of our patented plasma proofing. With a 98.3% riot suppression rate, 
When Pam is here, your metrics have nothing to fear. Yeah, I was I worried about today? fighting Pam for that exact reason. Tell me about the, the facility. The synthesis and manufactory center is where Spacer's Choice's newest product is being created. Get a leg up on the competition with Adrena Time. You Get are now a leg up on the pile Bobby. and refinish your dreams. Offices, the manufactory, and the Adrena Time synthesizer. The floors below you are the sub levels and the synthesizer reactor. How can I increase your productivity today? I need a boost to my productivity. I really do. How about some motivation? The team is a productive team. So please remember to meet your merriment quota of 3.47 hearty laughs per hour or 6.85 sensible chuckles. Thanks. Outside of the UK, you might think that is a low amount of uh, hearty laughs per hour or sensible chuckles. I'll have you know, this is above what we get in the UK. I'd kill for 3.47 hearty laughs per hour or 6.85. God, can you imagine 6.85 sensible chuckles? Could you imagine the luxury of that? I should go. Fuck, I could bring Sam here and I feel like they'd have some dialogue together. And that feels important. But then I have to go back to the ship for it. And I wanted to get this done. But also I want to see it. But also I don't. <clears throat> it is honestly just not worth bringing Sam. Uh, maybe he has some dialogue here, but I got more from Pavati and Felix than I ever did. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Don't make me do that. I won't. I refuse. Because you just know the instant I see one of those fucking things, I'm going to read what's on there. I'm gonna if it has ingoing messages, outgoing messages, or like anything that I'm just gonna scream, pull my hair out, and then go to bed. <laughs> I want to play a video game. I feel like that's solely been lacking in this video game stream. Fuck it, yeah. I'm tired now. I burnt so much energy on those fucking terminals. If I didn't know better, I'd swear it was watching me. I'm surprised this fountain still works. No. 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 Ah. Uh, I'm gonna end it. Not doing it. No, 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 no. I, I refuse. I retract my blue sky statement. No. Click, click, click. Hold then. I retract the statement. No. I'm not doing another terminal. I refuse. That can be a problem for next week. Because fucking hell. That was a lot. I feel like that was all I did all stream was just read from terminals. And fucking hell. Do I not want to do that ever again. And the annoying thing is I do want to fucking see where this goes. Because this could be just another room beyond this one. It could just be like one room, one boss fight and we're done. Then what do we do with next week's stream? I'm taking the risk on that. Um, I'm done. That broke me. That was fucking horrible. Uh, uh, usual links. Um, MattHollandAuthor.com for all your short story have? needs. Shut up. I'm taking my headphones off because I can't. I don't want to hear it. Um... Yeah, MattHollandAuthor.com for all your short story needs. Check out my book series, Hair of the Dog. It's on Amazon. It's cheap. 
Uh, it's a fiver for the whole three books. That's enough books to keep you going for maybe a month. I don't know how fast you read. I'm not a doctor. Um, mm, mm, follow me on social things. Follow me on Blue Sky. My Blue Sky is at galithamat.bsky.social. Uh, um, mattholandauthor.com is my handle on both Twitter and Blue Sky, and that's dot, as in D O T, not the the one thing. Uh, my voice has gone completely, so I should go now. Hope you wrung some enjoyment out of that. Goodbye. <laughs>